Hello, everyone. And I'm uh, I'm Edis Belaskin, and welcome to the stream. What's going on with my tracking? Ah, oh, god damn it! Really, it crashed now. What? Oh my god, are you serious? Just as the stream starts, just as it starts. All right. So yeah, last time we beat Berserk, uh, we beat Berserker. Four servants remain, including in Saber. So who is going to be our next opponent? Well, we do know Assassin, so maybe he's next. Hmm. Well, let us find out. So let us get to the game. We spend two hours training, then go on break as usual. Ha. <sighs> Huh. This just reminds me how amazing you, uh, uh, you are, Saber. I nod approvingly and gulp some water uh, from the kettle I brought along. I quench my thirst and wipe uh, the sweat from my neck with a towel, uh, uh, which helps me uh, to finally relax. <laughs> We don't mention that. We don't mention that, Elia. Uh, he is so blunt. Uh, uh, it's so blunt about things most people would find awkward. That's not true. It may look like uh, I'm just getting beat up, but it, it was actually worse uh, as before. In fact, I didn't pass out even once, so I'd say I'm. Um, I did pretty well today. Let me have this! Ilya's expression turns thoughtful. She's sharp. I found it odd too, actually. Either Saber was holding back out of concern for me, or she isn't in top form. Whatever the case, Saber didn't uh, go all out. Well, she may not... Uh, uh, she may not always uh, fight seriously while we're training, but she's always been merciless without exploiting openings before. About exploiting openings before. <laughs> Today she lacks drive, though. Normally she just rushes uh, in and attacks hard enough to knock me out, but there was none of that today. I think you think so too, Ilya. Maybe Saber has given up on me. Huh? Saber would never hold back. If she had uh, the compassion for that, she wouldn't uh, beat me so bad uh, that first day. Yeah, Saber isn't the sort to hold back in training. That's why I was able to focus so uh, completely on a weapon. What's gotten into Saber? This isn't training at all. It seems unbelievable, but did she go easy on me? Something's not right. Saber has to see it too. Yeah, I can't imagine you ever taking it uh, easy on uh, me. I, uh, and I know you were being serious. But I think you were holding uh, back. If you don't uh, come right at me, this is pointless. 
ースがそうなるとマスターに近づきすぎです。<笑>それでは展開によっては体がぶつかってしまうというか。Cause again, we still gotta act, act like we had sex. <laughs> huh? Well, we're sparring, so I guess、uh, we might bump shoulders or something. Besides, you used、uh, to slam your whole body in,、uh, into mine to knock me down、uh, because you said I wasn't defending myself、uh, well enough. And close combat is your specialty, Saber. That's kind of a weird、uh, question, but yeah, frequently. Remember how you slammed me in,、uh, into the、uh, wall when we first sparred? I said you were pretty strong for a girl, and you said it,、uh, it was natural for a swordsman. <laughs> That's just gremlin smirk on Helia's face. <laughs> Saber stands there dumbfounded. What's going on? Saber is acting really weird today. I'd hate to learn she isn't feeling well. I should talk to Tarsaka later. We get back to our training, but it's still uh, uh, different than before. But after a few strikes, Saber uh, uh, sets down her Shinai. Hmm? Is this a new kind of training? She might strike me、uh, straight in, in the head at the moment I drop my guard and get close. Ah, 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 ah. I breathe hard, watching Saber cautiously. Saber narrows her eyes, is、uh, showing、uh, that she is、uh, serious now, and steps forward. Shiro, What? That's not like her. Huh? I lower my she and I. Lunch, is it that time already? According to the clock, it's a bit before noon. It's, it's lunchtime, sir, I'm sure, but this is the first time Saber has been the one to step up and suggest it. Either Saber or I paid,、uh, neither Saber nor I paid much to,、uh, to attention to the time when we trained before. We take a break, then we notice,、uh, then notice we were、uh, hungry, then check、uh, the clock and see that it was about lunchtime. Hmm. It's a good idea. I could go along with it easily enough. Um. All right. We're going to go with the second one. No particular reason. I get nothing from this, but I just want to. Yeah, Elia is here too. So let's have, have lunch early today. I agree to Saber's suggestion and lower my she and I. And then. Saber's shoulders sag in relief. What's really going on? She's acting so weird. Maybe I should at least ask why. Huh? Do you think the time I spend and, and work on lunch is wasted time? I guess I should have、uh, made bento for lunch every day. That would have been much、uh, easier and less time consuming. And I wouldn't have, have to be in the kitchen and every time either. I put all, the,、uh, all that work、uh, into lunch as a way to thank her, but if Saber doesn't like me spending so much、uh, time on that, so be it. What? Oh, yeah, lunch, right? I lean my sheen eye against the wall and set、uh, three cushions on the floor. 
一息入れるのはその後なのですから<笑>早く厨房に立ってもらわなければ困ります Why? We don't need to go back、uh, to the living room. We don't need.、Uh, and we don't need to rush. What would be the problem? <laughs> Just the entire sprite going black and white. I love it. Saber stops sun,、uh, suddenly, and I practically hear、uh, gears grinding. And how come today of all days you're so insistent on stopping on time? What's gotten you in such a hurry? Then we can enjoy a nice leisurely lunch since we have time. And I、uh, said I,、uh, I already prepared it. If you got、uh, the time, then you can、uh, go to the living room and bring,、uh, bring back the bento I made this morning. I nod and,、uh, as I open the window as, as to let in the cool air. And then. Our stomach growls,、uh, signaling that we're both hungry. All right, we always、uh, let our stomachs growling and be our meal alarm. No wonder it,、uh, it seemed weird. I turn to Saber. Hmm? What's wrong, Saber? Did opening the window ma、uh, make it too cold? We should at least ventilate、uh, the room since we're eating here, though. <laughs> Saber dashes out of the dojo. What was that all about? Saber's half hearted hits, the way she acted now. Maybe she does have a fever. It's noon and we eat lunch. I made a hearty breakfast, so lunch is bought.、Nah. Uh, so, lunch is box leftovers. Saber nods her approval as she eats her sandwich. The way she、uh, uses a paper napkin to keep her hands from getting dirty is such grace, even in the way she eats a bento. On the other end of the spectrum,、uh, spectrum Ega,、uh, Ilya eagerly crams her sandwich into her mouth. I can't tell if she's just playing around or copying me. Ilya seems to have、uh, better manners uh, uh, than Saber, except at the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Ilya must have,、uh, have had butter smeared on the corner of her mouth or something. Saber leans in reluctantly, wiping off whatever it is. Ilya shrugs and takes another bite of her sandwich. Saber 
Saber responds plainly enough as they eat. Their conversation then hasn't changed much, but at least they sound calmer. As we relax uh, after finishing our meal, Tosaka comes in. Her message delivered, Tosaka heads straight back to the outbuilding. Oh, right, I forgot. Tosaka was going in to teach me magecraft in the afternoon. I never had a proper teacher, so Tos Tosaka's magecraft uh, uh, lecture has uh, been really helpful. She seems to be willing uh, uh, to keep uh, teaching, so I could, uh, so I should clean and up here, uh, so I should clean up uh, up here quickly and and head over to her. Sorry, but I'm going to head to Tosaka's room. I'm not sure how long it's going to take, so you two you know, should go back uh, to your rooms and rest. <laughs> Ilya walks out, out of the dojo, rubbing her sleepy eyes. Give me a bit. That's a relief. As long as he, uh, Elia goes to sleep, I don't think there's any uh, problem um, with me going to Tosaka's room. Hmm? Yeah, I just said that. Tosaka is teaching me the basics of magecraft. Hmm, she might be right. Tosaka's lessons were originally meant uh, to help me when we went up against Berserker. So with him gone, there's no reason for her to teach me anything else. No, Berserker or not, I still want to learn from her. There's still so much I don't uh, know as a mage, and I, uh, I'd like to fix that as soon as I can. Huh? Saber looks sullen as she says this. Oh, I've only got, uh, I've only got like egg, five broken bones. Nothing serious. That's how she began. That's how she began. It's kind of an, an odd question to ask someone uh, uh, to ask the moment I arrive. Huh? Broken? Like what? It's not like I care or anything, Baka. <laughs> she is such a sundere. According to Tosaka, some part uh, to me should be numb. But since I'm, um, um, I'm the one living in my body, I can um, say she's wrong. Nope, everything's working fine. The headache and fever are gone now, and and, and I've had, uh, had a night's sleep. I feel fine. But I told you, I'm fine. Besides, if, uh, if my body wasn't uh, working, I wouldn't uh, have been able to carry Ilya back uh, to the house. 
And at that point, uh, the only thing wrong with uh, me was uh, a headache or, or a fever uh, and a fever. <laughs> I'll take it out for you. <laughs> she tugs on my arm before I can reply, then stares at it. Mm. I realize as I'm holding my breath. I may have gotten used to her uh, being around, but I'm definitely not used to her being so close. Just like a that is quietly to herself and she, as she inspects my arm. Hey! As if that weren't enough uh, to leave me beat red. Rin then lifts my sleeve up, pressing her fingers along my arm. Stop! That's enough, Tosaka. Go sit uh, back down if you're done. <laughs> Tosaka leans closer to me. <laughs> now she's just being an imp. That's for me to worry about. It's none of your business, so leave me alone. Uh, don't put your hand on my forehead. I don't have a fever, so there's no point to this. <laughs> She's such an imp. She's doing this on purpose. <laughs> this is deliberate, I know it. Tosaka, you know exactly what you're doing, don't you? <laughs> anyone then uh, and who would uh, anyone who would toy with a man's innocent and feeling like that should do their repentance in hell? <laughs> That's a problem. I feel like Tosaka is only teasing me harder now. Tosaka, might, uh, might I remind you that this is serious and I'm here to learn from you? Oh yeah? So are you going to get uh, to today's topic then? そうね。本題 you mean the, uh, that jewel? Yeah, ever since I swallowed it, I've been able to turn my magic circuit uh, uh, on and off without creating them from scratch every time. That's 
Yeah, you being so blunt uh, about uh, that is enlightening. But you can uh, at least give me uh, some advice about the magecraft uh, that I can use, right? So tell me, what kind of magic uh, I used last night? Tosaka doesn't answer. She's just glaring at me like uh, I'm her worst enemy. Tosaka, um, this is supposed to be a lecture, right? I get nervous when you go all quiet like that. She looks away, frowning. It's only a brief flicker of her expression, though. Huh? Something you can't do? Wasn't, uh, wasn't what I uh, used uh, against Berserker pretty basic for a mage? I just imagine a, a structure and let magical energy flow into it. It's no different than strengthening magecraft. But uh, flooding your own magical energy into something that's already uh, formed is difficult. It's like adding what uh, you think is red to an existing, mi existing mixture of paints to draw out uh, the red hue, only to end up with something with uh, some completely different color. By comparison, it's much easier uh, to work with my own paint from the very beginning. I can just draw uh, out uh, whatever I want that way. What do you mean you can't do it? I'm sure uh, you can uh, do that kind of thing. It's much easier than strengthening. A chill runs down my spine. It's not my imagination. Tosaka is actually angry. あんたの蔵を見た時から薄々感づいてたんだから今更エミヤシロウに殺意を抱いても仕方ない勘違いしてるようだから言ってあげるとねあなたがやったのは東映の魔術なの実在する美術品とか名剣とかそういったものを自身
uh, because uh, what you make disappears immediately. その場合、その剣の力は生前3回4なのよ。人間のイメージなんてあなだらけだから、本物通りの複製なんてできないんだもの。対して、銃の魔力を使って剣を強化した場合、その剣の力は20にも30にも跳ね上がる。加えて、その
知識さえあればどんな魔術だって行えるのは同意でしょたとえ自分では再現不可能の奇跡だって分かっていてもそれにチャレンジすることは誰にでもできる魔術師なんて動力源に過ぎない小さなエンジンでもアクセルを踏み続けていれば規定以上のスピードが出るけどその先にあるのは自滅しかないそれと同じよ魔術師っていうのはね自滅さえ覚悟するなら限界なんて簡単に超えられる魔術回路を焼き切らせて神経をズタズタにしてそれでも魔力を回転させていけば奇跡に手は届くわあなたの投影はまさにそれよ戦いの後ずっと体が熱かったのは神経が焼き切れていたからだものそれが分不相応な魔術の代償よ手足の1本や2本壊れて当然のことをあなたはしたの Tosaka's voice growl. Tosaka's voice grows a little louder. But at the same time. Tosaka is worried about me, genuinely. After a warning, Tosaka uh, prescribed、uh, some medicine、uh, and I'm not familiar with. Tosaka explained this as she prepared、uh, some kind of green powdery medicine. I drink it with some tea. Tosaka rummages、uh, through her stuff and tries to prescribe、uh, some other medicine. Anyway, I feel bad for Tosaka having to go through all her、uh, stuff、uh, just for me, but I feel like、uh, I'm, I'm wasting time just sitting here. I should. Let's ask about projection in more detail. Yeah. I think I got what projection magic is all about, but I want, to know,、uh, but I want more detail. Especially the part about taking an image and giving, and giving it shape. Hey, Tosaka, sorry to interrupt you, but. <laughs> Mood. She complains to herself as she searches. Classic Tosaka. Especially the part where、uh, she stumbles、uh, in, in the preparation phase, even though she executes everything else flawlessly. Come on,、um, forget about it. Can you、uh, just tell me about、uh, what we were discussing earlier? The, discuss, uh, the stuff about、uh, how projections or replicas、uh, created you,、uh, using images? <laughs> She's definitely in a bad mood. She tossed aside、uh, the duffel bag、uh, she'd been、uh, rummaging through and plops down in a chair. どんなに強い魔力でもイメージで編み上げた物体はだんだんと薄れていくい,いえそれだけじゃないわそんな幻想は世界そのものが許さないだから投影によって編み上げられたものは一日だって世界にはとどまれない
Huh? What do you mean the world not want to allow it? それがもう現実でしょ幻想に等価交換も何もない。イメージで作られたものが世界のどこにもない場合、それは絶対の矛盾になる。だから、この時代にありえない聖馬の剣なんて投影したら、世界そのものがその幻想を破壊する。世界と繋がって奇跡を起
Well, okay, maybe not. I should have expected this from Tarasaka. She's unbelievably stubborn, absolutely selfish, and captivatingly brilliant. Hey, Farami, welcome to the stream. How's your day? Then what are you going to do? Are you uh, going out uh, on your own now? There are still servants and masters left. You're going to stay here? Are you sure? It'd be a big help if you stayed, but our alliance ended, so... <laughs> and you're going to be making the food uh, completely from now on. それに責任は最後まで取るって言ったでしょ。ちょっとの間だったけど、指定になったしね。あなたを一人にしたら頼りなくて心配で、聖杯戦争どころじゃなくなるわ。all oh, right. It feels like a lifetime ago, so I nearly eh, forgotten. But I admired uh, Ren uh, because as of exactly those qualities for a long time now. I hope you're enjoying it. So I'm actually very happy. That's the Tosaka I've always uh, always known and liked. Besides, if I ever saw the day a girl not as stubborn as her gives up, I wouldn't uh, know what uh, to believe from then on. Yeah, thanks for sticking around, Tosaka. Whatever else I might say, I wouldn't know what uh, to do without you. Saber and I need you, Tosaka. Chira's got the riz. <laughs> huh? I'm not sure why that, that upset Tosaka so much. Tosaka, what do you mean I might give people the wrong idea? What wrong idea? And yet he's still dense as a brick. Uh... Tosaka must be aware of uh, some secret uh, rule I'm not. <laughs><笑><笑> hmm, okay, I still don't get it, but I, uh, but I didn't admit... That's what you said about feeling bad for Saber. What do you mean she... Uh, what do you mean she has stuff? <laughs> Good God, Chiro. Changes in Saber? It's not about her appearance, right? <laughs> Did she change her hair? Should I have said something? <laughs> if anything would have changed in Saber... Oh, right. She has been acting weird since this morning. No, I just thought uh, she was uh, in a bad mood because Elio was with us. She just sat uh, there all stiff and quiet. Uh, and when I asked if there was something uh, wrong, she just uh, got up and left, saying, any, uh, saying something about having uh, had a dream. And I pretty much forgot about it and in all the hustle and bustle over Elia. Yeah, Saber has been a little off uh, since this morning, like her head uh, is somewhere else. Eh? That's a bit of a uh, That's the bit that surprises you? And now she's ignoring me. Hey, don't go quiet on me. The fate is you're uh, making has me nervous. Oh, 
サーバントは夢を見ないってだけだから。はあ。My voice break。Servants don't dream。そうよ。サーバントは夢なんて見ないわ。それでも見たって言うなら、それは夢じゃない。単に誰かの記憶を垣間見ただけの話よ。Maybe t o s a n a k i has experienced it before. The coldness in her voice r u n and so counter to her、uh, usual cheerfulness. And now it's time to prepare dinner. With so much、uh, happening these past few days, I thought the whole cooking rotation had、uh, gone out the window, but then. <laughs> and I'll leave it to you again tomorrow, and the day after, and the day after, and the day after. Basically, I'm just telling you to give me free food. She steps out, out of her room as she speaks. Well, yeah, I guess stew would be perfect for Elia. Maybe it's the hat and coat、uh, she wears、uh, that makes me think that. Whatever the case, I don't have a problem、uh, with making stew for dinner. I'm no expert at Western dishes、uh, like stew, but I don't think、uh, I can really mess、uh, something like that up. But before that, it's a little before six o'clock. I still have some,、uh, some time before I need to cook. We had. Uh, uh, We had training, so I、uh, have done my、uh, share of sweating、uh, today. Seems like now would be a good time to take a bath. Taking a bath before、uh, dinner might be a、uh, hassle, but Tosaka and Saber usually do it right out,、uh, after dinner, so it would be pretty late by the time、um, it was my turn. The hallway is cold. The heaters have, uh, uh, the heaters have、uh, rooms nice and warm, but once I'm out、uh, in the hallway, I can feel the wintry chill. Fuyuki's winters are typically warm, but、uh, the weather has been、uh, screwy these past few days. I know that feeling. Speaking of cold, it looks like, uh, uh, it, looks like it snowed. I must not have noted、uh, because、uh, it only lasted、uh, for less than an hour and didn't,、uh, and didn't sl-、uh, snow a large amount. If there, had been,、uh, much, uh, if there had been much snow on the ground, my yard、uh, would be packed with、uh, an entire army of snowmen, which really sucks to clean up. In that sense, I'm glad it didn't snow much. Of course, the snowmen、uh, army would、uh, be the work of a single person. I can't help but smile、uh, as I remember when it snowed last year and her cold,、uh, uh, red, uh, her cold reddened hands gripped、uh, the lectern. Huh? I was thinking of taking a shower, but the bathroom is already warm. Oh dear. I hear something moving in the water. I strain my eyes and, and try to keep the bath.、Uh, uh, And try to see the bathtub、uh, through the haze of steam. Hello! <laughs> My mind goes、uh, as blank as the white sheet. It's a、uh, uh, steam filling the bathroom. What? My throat closes up. I can't get the、uh, word out. My brain stops working. I'm paralyzed. But in the back of my mind, I recall something similar happening. Actually, the exact、uh, same、um, thing has already happened. Last time I was dressed and Saber wasn't. Not this time. Uh, Saber? The only sound、uh, and is my、uh, loud gulping. Saber just freezes, watching me as I、uh, stand and they're dumbfounded. She's going to get mad. Here it comes. I'm going to die. The soft lip began to tremble. Any second now, she's going to start yelling. Sorry, it's my fault. I was going to use the shower. Well, I didn't think anyone would be、eh, using the bathroom at this hour. But yeah, I should have figured it out earlier, but. 
I ramble out uh, the lame excuse uh, as I uh, step backwards, trying to head back to the changing room. It's not that I'm gawking at Saber, but for some reason, and it felt like uh, it, can, uh, it felt like a mad dash for the changing and would, and would make Saber angrier. The truth of the matter is, I can't take my eyes off her. I remember the night in the ruins. <laughs> because we're still acting like we had sex that night. <laughs> Even though that was changed. I recall Saber's warmth, how close it was. Her body was so frail and slender. The heat of our bodies, even our heartbeats, mingled and overlapped. At the time, I was desperate to fix the problem. But now it feels so tempting. Anyway, we can talk later. I try to reach behind me for the exit. And then... Saber averts her gaze, her voice oddly muffled. Uh, uh, her voice oddly muffled. Eh? Now I really don't know what to think. I'm not sure say, uh, uh, why Saber isn't mad. Seeing how embarrassed uh, she looks causes blood to pound in my skull. Eh? Um, why? The words come out before I can stop myself. Sable looks down and uh, even uh, more apologetically. Sable shrinks on herself, hiding her body. And then I suddenly remember. When I ran into her in the changing room last time, Sable didn't say anything. Sex does not matter for servants, and she'd said uh, that. Appearances hadn't mattered to her. Oh, uh, well, you see, hold on, I can't find the right words. My head's spinning. Ah, come on, work, brain! So you're not Mad Saber? I get it. Saber doesn't care what she looks like or whether uh, she has clothes on or not. That's why it's not weird uh, for me uh, to be here. The bathroom is a place to wash one's body, so my presence isn't strange. It doesn't matter whether Saber is here or not. Knowing that helps, but uh, I have a feeling I'm wrong. So then, I don't think uh, it would be a problem if I use the shower right now, you know. For God's sake, Shiro. <laughs> She blushes even more, tripping over her words. Oh my, uh, oh my all mean, and I'm well, uh, I'm well fine uh, with that. Show me the maps. <laughs> if you're comfortable with it, of course. <laughs> She hasn't been here long enough, uh, chat. Uh, she hasn't. Uh, she hasn't seen the internet. She sounds so bashful. I almost faint, and uh, and for just so so many reasons. Y you fool! I would never uh, think. I would never think that. Faber's body is long. Uh, is a long, long way from it, uh, and sightly. She says uh, she says she's rugged, but I uh, but that's never bothered me. Shiro is a man of culture. I knocked over my speaker. <laughs> Sh 
sure, she's more muscular than Tosaka, but still, I think Saber is very feminine. I mean, common decency, give her some privacy, dude. I don't know how I responded. I only remember nodding slightly and pulling hang the door closed. And so the day ends. Dinner was chaotic. Ilya got uh, chattier with uh, each meal, and, uh, and she and, and Tosaka have gotten uh, to this weird point where I'm not sure whether they're fighting or being friendly. Saber has accepted Ilya's presence here, but she hasn't warmed up to her. More than that, Saber uh, gets pretty frowny whenever Ilya gets near me. These past few days have been uh, just plain rough. The normal routine and of just a few days ago now it has devolved uh, into a complete chaos. I stepped silently, uh, silently into the yard. It's just about time um, for the calendar to roll over to the next day. I walk beneath the pale moonlight of the moon, leaving faint puffs of white breath in my wake. Next thing, I, next thing I know, I'm at work uh, on my daily routine. I don't really need uh, to train uh, out here since Tosok is teaching me. But I'm still on, uh, on the cold, uh, but, I'm, uh, sit, uh, uh, but I still sit on the cold ground and check on things I've been working on for so long. I'm not doing this because I'm worried about my skills. It's more that I find doing it soothing. I've been doing this for years, so you know, just not uh, uh, doing it would uh, feel weird. Trace on. I put in even uh, and more effort in tonight, into tonight's training. Persaka told me not to do it anymore, but I you can't just do as she says. If I can master this projection and thing, it means I could uh, do a lot. Uh, I could be a lot more helpful to Saber. And the heat from earlier is still lingering within me. The night, uh, the night at the ruins, the battle in the forest uh, to the morning mist, the golden sword I created, the residual heat still lingered as uh, in my hands, and deep down I find myself uh, hoping uh, that I'll be. Uh, and be able to reignite those flames. Creation philosophy appraisal. It's easy to recreate. At the time, I was so desperate uh, that my mind was a jumble, but now I can retrace the necessary steps and form my incantation. No. From the very beginning, there has only uh, been a single thing that uh, could serve as a trigger for me. The pronunciation is the same, but just by uh, uh, but just by changing uh, uh, my uh, 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 but just by changing my uh, uh, per, uh, uh, my perception and, uh, and of how no it is said, it will become it will become um, something entirely mine, my own original spell. Basic such, uh, structure hypothesis. I know very well how dangerous this is. Tarasaka doesn't need to remind me. And yet I still do it because I have a death wish. I really have no busy business getting anywhere near projection magecraft. It's completely beyond me. Venturing so brazenly into dangerous waters can lead only to death. End hypothesis. Now instant nothingness. I erase the blueprint and that uh, was in my head. A shadow falls across the door. Saber comes in, her frame blotting, uh, blotting out uh, the light of the moon. Now I'm going to drag your fucking stupid ass to bed! Huh? 
No, nothing's happened. I couldn't sleep, so I came here to do uh, some mental exercises. Once I finish, I'll head back to my uh, room, so I don't need. So you don't need to worry. Saber focuses on my uh, forehead. She can uh, probably see that I'm dripping with sweat. It's always like this. Don't worry. Mages have to practice their magecraft. Well, failure comes with the territory for an amateur like me. I wipe the sweat uh, from my uh, brow with the back of my hand. Oh? I'm surprised. My sweat is cold as ice. I thought it was cold, but I didn't remember uh, the shed being quite this cold. Well, yeah, as much as I possibly could. It's a daily routine my old man uh, taught me, so I should uh, at least keep, it to uh, keep to it. As soon as I finish speaking, I regret my bluff. I regret telling her this is my daily routine. My intent was to boast to Saber. At the end of the day, my training isn't some chore is isn't just some chore to me. But it isn't the easiest of tasks either. Saber says nothing. The moon hangs behind her. It's light and it's spilling around her frame. The shed, plunging into bluish darkness, is illuminated by a few shafts of silvery light that makes it past Saber. I recall the first night I met her. Saber, Tosok had said something to me today. That moment felt just like a dream. Is it true that servants don't dream? I can't stop myself from asking. <laughs> but this morning you said There is a brief silence She closes her eyes Then apparently having made up her mind you had a dream I, I was making at school too. <laughs> hey, Jaybird, uh, welcome to the uh, welcome to the stream. How was your day? I've been good. Master and servant are emotionally connected. If the relationship is strong, you can see the past. Cool. You dreamed of my past? How could you violate my privacy, Saber? It doesn't matter that you didn't, uh, that you did it on accident. I kid. Don't. I did the same thing. Sarah's past. I've seen several uh, scenes from her life before she became a servant now. Don't be silly. It's not your fault. You can't help what you dream about. And I have to apologize too. My past is pretty boring. Seeing something uh, that boring probably makes you want uh, to have to sleep. Saber uh, is dead serious uh, about that warning. But privacy? Well, yeah, sure. I've done uh, my share of dumb things. That's a relief, but if you're uh, saying you didn't uh, see any recent memories, and how far into the path as, as did you go? Uh, 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 did you see? Right back to the trauma, baby! <laughs> Her voice is quiet. Her gentle gaze tell me, uh, tells me what she saw. Oh. 
That dream. I see. Well, I don't know what to say. Should I say it was unfortunate? It's like going to a movie theater expecting to see a movie you know, but you somehow end up, uh, up in the wrong theater and end up getting a completely different show. Huh? What do you mean, dangerous? Well, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the odds are plenty stacked against me from your point of view. I used to be a fucking moron just like you! Uh, I don't think I made any mistakes. Sure, I've failed plenty of times, but my goal now is to be a champion of justice like my old man. A goal like that can't be a mistake. No way. That's obvious. It was just an accident, and I was, I was just a victim. Sure, I may be dealing with survivor's guilt. あなたは自己犠牲と献身ぶりは異常だとあなたは自らの命を代価として人を助けようとするのではないあなたは単に初めから自分の命が感情に入っていないのではないですかまだまだ my pupils have dilated. I'm not sure why, but I can't seem to focus on Saber's face. Painful? For me? Well, yeah, that's painful. Saber doesn't have to remind me of that. It's obvious. How many people died? It was absolutely... It was absolute hell. Something like, something like that causing you pain is only natural. And besides, if I didn't feel that, it might all be meaningless. Yeah, you're right. It is painful to remember. But it's in the past now. There's nothing I can do about it. Saber doesn't answer. Instead, she claws her arm in frustration. <laughs> Saber. I don't know how to respond to that. Saber leaves. Mm hmm. I fold my arms and think. Do I need the Holy Grail? A vessel that grants wishes to its, pro uh, to it, uh, its possessor. A vessel which contains unlimited quantities of magical energy for which, it, uh, for which it said nothing is impossible. Were I, uh, uh, were I to get it, it could easily grant my wish. No, that's wrong. No matter how I look at it, I don't need the Holy Grail. Nope, I definitely don't need it. Because I don't have any wishes that uh, can't come true or hope for any... Uh, 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 or hope for anything that, uh, that's impossible. I couldn't have a uh, dream if it weren't something I could attain myself. The night grows darker. In the familiar old shed, lit only by the moon, I listen to the distant wind.
Um, yeah, I believe it's that one. Infinity Arms, February 13th. The sky is gray, the hill crimson with corpses. The heavy, uh, the heavy clouds drift away, heralding the battle's end. I know this scene. I've seen it so many times now. This is one of Saber's battles. She fought and won so many victories. Scenes like this are almost co uh, commonplace for her. After, afterwards, she will return to her castle, where her victory uh, will be uh, uh, praised and celebrated. Then she will uh, prepare for the next battle. This is just life for her. It is only one of uh, 12 great battles uh, uh, she fought. Only one of the uh, one of the great uh, uh, great uh, twelve great battles she fought, and so she does not truly uh, remember victory so much as she just accepts it as a fact. I think she's misguided. This is not a dream; it's just a cold reality, a past that can't be changed. The moment she drew the sword, she stopped being human. She took over for her father as a feudal lord and became um, um, a king with many knights. She was known as King Arthur and Altria. The life of a girl who was one, uh, who once aspired uh, to be a, a knight. Uh, cha uh, uh, the life of, of the girl who once aspired to be a knight changed so radically. No was for us to end her life if and she knew it might be a better way to put it. In that, that instant, the girl who still no, no, had such childlike features ceased to be and became the King of Knights. She acted like you know, she was the King's son. The ruler of territories and knight, uh, 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 the ruler of territories and knights had to be male. Only her father and the mage knew the king was female. She covered herself in iron and hid uh, that truth for uh, the rest of her life. I don't know why uh, I never realized uh, the implications until now. As much public exposure as she had, she managed to pass herself off uh, as male the whole time. The sheer suffering she likely endured must have uh, been incredible, but a simple ob uh, observer uh, could uh, never really understand. Time passes. Ten years worth of, me uh, of memories as king. And there was only one common thread that entire time. Even when she's on the throne. Even when she's walking through the hallway. Even when she's on the battlefield. Not a soul spoke to her. Even the round table, filled as it was with night and its boasting of their valor, always fell silent the moment the king appeared. So that's what it meant. She was merely tolerated as a symbol. Many knights looked uh, down on Altria, uh, with her boyish appearance, and, and, mere, uh, and were ultimately not comfortable in trusting her with their blades. But because she managed to draw the sacred sword uh, that no one else could, they had to obey, uh, obey, even if only uh, to meet, uh, to keep up appearances. They just accepted the, uh, the disgrace, believed it would pass. Sacred sword or no, the king was merely a child. Even with Merlin and support, the king would uh, surely fail eventually. When that happens, they need only take the sacred sword from her and select a new king. That's probably what the mo uh, what the most of the, of the knights thought. But that's not how it went. The knight, only just reaching adulthood, was a flawless king. 
She enforced peace among uh, the squabbling lords and fought off invaders as well. Of course, this wasn't true of the sacred. Uh, this wasn't due to the sacred sword's powers. The sacred sword only protects the king. The king, on the other hand, protects her nation. And through her uh, deeds, she was always able to maintain control of, the, of her knights. The sacred sword protects her only uh, uh, from her enemies. It does nothing to help her hold uh, sway over the hearts of her subjects. She worked herself to the bone to be uh, the ideal king to all. At that point, the knights had no choice but to, be uh, to obey. They held their dissatisfaction for the young king in check because the king was truly perfect. She strived to be a, an ideal king. The only condition for the king's support was that uh, their king be exactly that, the ideal king. There was no room for Ultra to be a human being. She could be a king and only a king. The peerless knight who drew the sacred sword, who stopped aging from that moment, who went on to win uh, 12 great wars, the more perfect she became, the more people stayed away from her. As this continued, the king grew more and more isolated. That was who she was. But she did well. In fact, she did too well. She defeated her enemies and minimized her own side's casualties. No matter, battle, uh, sac uh, no matter the battle, sacrifices must be made. So she believed it was her duty to make sacrifices, to bolster her army, and to defeat uh, the enemy without uh, wasting lives. She would strip the resources from one village to prepare her army, then defeat the invaders before they could uh, strike uh, uh, their uh, land, saving perhaps ten villages. That was the king's approach, and it proved the best strategy at the time. But the knights must not have been happy. To them, only the foreign invader uh, uh, should have uh, died, and the only true victory is made uh, without uh, any such sacrifices. There shouldn't be any need for sacrifice, uh, to sacrifice a territory before battle. They were going to win regardless, so sacrifices were pointless. There wouldn't be any sacrifices, so the king's actions were a waste. It was, of course, total nonsense. Once battle began, the knights spared not a single thought for those little villages. No one thought twice about trampling the villages. Protecting, protecting, bleh, protecting them was never a consideration. Knights claim there's nothing to be done when the enemies destroy when the enemy destroys such villages, but to let them be destroyed it is a great uh, crime. Obviously, she knew that. But a king not, uh, and cannot worry about her, uh, their personal feelings. She had to kill her emotions to make her decisions, and her knights had to suppress their own feelings to obey. And so sacrifices are made, and that string of victories stabilizes the nation. In, re in return, animosity for the king grew. King Arthur just doesn't understand how people feel. So one night it was heard to say as they left the castle. What a ridiculous story. She was expected not to be human, but they hated her precisely because she didn't have human emotions. The age of war continued. The animosity of the knights who had been dissatisfied and with the king only grew more, uh, only grew more so after that knight left. They forced her to deal with every foreign and domestic enemy in hopes of pushing ang, ang her over the edge. Collapse was in a, it was imminent. If these many problems confronting ang the nation were never resolved, it would crumble. Even if all of them um, were uh, resolved, what a wait uh, is more of the same. But that did not concern the king. Even should uh, she be abandoned, feared uh, or betrayed, she will remain steadfast. Because she had long since made up her mind. 
She abandoned her emotion and the moment she decided to draw this, you know, that sword. This happened long, long ago. Knights from across the nation gathered to try eh, eh, to draw the sword from the stone, but none of them could do it. And the knights instead showcased their skill on horseback, either, either eager to crown the best among them king. The knights flocked to the arena in droves. The sword in the stone lay outside, forgotten. From afar, it looked more like a festival. Even in the, in the distance, the sound of valiant cavalrymen clashing is audible. The knights clashed in the distance, and the rock lay before eh, forgotten. What was going through the girl's mind as she what what was going through the girl's mind as, as she stood in front of the rock? Before she realized it, an unknown an unknown mage stood behind her. <laughs> He tries to stop her, for her own good. He also warned her that many would hate her, and that she would uh, die a gruesome death. She must have been terrified. The maid showed her future. He showed uh, her the end and she would uh, meet if she drew that sword. It only made her all the more determined. Even after seeing that future, she only gave a firm nod. The mage again, uh, the mage asked again if that was what she wanted. She took the sword in her hand. The mage looked troubled and turned away. He departed with those prophetic words. That's right. She just wanted to protect everyone. But to do so, she had to abandon her desire to protect pe uh, people. She cannot protect her country as its king if she still had uh, as a human heart. Even knowing this, she drew the sword. Even knowing this, she vowed, she vowed to live it uh, as a king. Vowed. So no matter what happened, uh, she will remain steadfast. She abandoned her human heart. She was willing to give up uh, to give that up to protect her nation. Who could have known the girl uh, made such a noble oath? Come what uh, may. And however, uh, and, uh, might en uh, and however might end, even if, uh, if it was inevitable, solidarity doom, uh, solitary doom awaited her. And her end did come. The Battle of Kamlan. King Arthur set out on a campaign, and one of her knights usurped her throne, splitting the nation in two, and, parked, uh, uh, and sparked a terrible conflict. The legend has it that, that this battle brought an end to uh, knighthood and chivalry. She killed every knight who once served her, and invaded, uh, 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 and invaded the land she fought to defend. All the knights who followed her were gone, and her own body lay injured and immobile. There was no one left around her. As ever, nothing has changed. All she had in her heart was pride was the pride of a king. She'd known about this ending. Still, she believed there was something to be gained from this failure, which is why she she kept fighting without uh, ever failing to the, uh, or disgracing herself. She had not... Uh, she had not regrets? Feels like that should be she had no regrets. If she were uh, to have one, then it would uh, be seeing her na nation in ruin. 
she raised her gaze. Maybe she would uh, be able to see her castle in the distance from the hill. She saw only the aftermath of the battle, a dense forest, and a lake to which she must return. That's right. The hill she'd been uh, to charge uh, over uh, with, uh, has become a wall she can't climb. Strength left her body. For the first time, she loosened her grip on the sacred sword. And that's where it ended. It was only natural that the dream would end, the end here. Since there is uh, nothing beyond the moment, uh, that moment in her memories. And that is why uh, he, uh, uh, this end cannot be written and rewritten. She worked so hard and, and she uh, was, uh, was resented, betrayed. Nobody understood that she loved her people more than uh, her nation. She came uh, to be known as a merciless king. She was never war uh, rewarded or understood. On top of that crimson stained and uh, sword strewn hill, the girl sat on the edge of death, isolated and betrayed. I wake to the sound of rain. It's morning. I grip my spinning head and sit up. It's just before six o'clock. The rain patters softly outside. That dream I just had. No, there's no doubt about it. It was Saber's past. It was the end of her, uh, her life a long, long time ago. Nothing can change that engine now. I grip my teeth. I can hear them grinding. I don't know why, but I'm so mad. Damn, what the hell was that? Just thinking about it pisses me off. Her past, the fact she didn't uh, think of anything of uh, she didn't think anything of it. Uh, me thinking uh, the dream was nothing be uh, before. Ah! I hate it. I don't even understand why, but uh, it's making me angry. I don't like it. I don't like it one damn bit. No matter how you slice it, her life was unfair. So, so unfair. She only wanted to help people. She wanted uh, nothing for herself. But as, how, as hard as she worked, nobody understood her, not even in, and at the very end. That really pisses me off. It's so unfair. That's right. She worked harder than anyone. She doesn't and receive, uh, and she doesn't receive any reward. That's just a bunch of crap. She should be rewarded for everything she's done. But, how could that happen at this point? I, what, just tell her she did a good job? Do I tell her how wonderful she was? Of course not. Nothing so simple could uh, do her justice. I know, there's only one answer. That's right. If she's to be rewarded, uh, the work she uh, devoted uh, herself uh, of, uh, uh, the work she uh, he devoted her life to should be repaid. Alcha needs happiness to match all the battle uh, she uh, fought. <laughs> so we're going to go have sex again. I could. But then what can I do? I'm out of ideas. I don't have any, any idea how to make uh, people happy. I'm so useless at this kind of thing. My entire life, I wanted to be a champion of justice, but all I ever did uh, was uh, lend uh, a hand here and there. I believed everyone uh, around me would be happy if I just helped every uh, people, or rather, I couldn't face myself if I didn't believe that. Mm. Helping people are safe and, and saving people are not are very much not the same thing. And if I don't understand the difference myself, I can't possibly reward Saber.
Breakfast is the same as usual. I get the sense Saber and, and Tosaka are pretty adaptable since they have already gotten used to Ilya being here. で、あんたはどうするのよ、シロ。残るマスターは3人。聖杯戦争だって期限がないってわけじゃないんだから、そろそろ行動に移らないとまずいわよ。いつもゴテを踏むってのも情けないし。Tusok is right. There's nothing wrong uh, with me physically, and Saber is completely healed. We should be doing. Uh, uh, we should be done resting as of yesterday. Y you're right. You say uh, we need to make a move, but it'll have, uh, have to be at night. We're going uh, to do the same uh, things we've been doing during the day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's just telling it as it is, chat. <laughs> I'm going to continue my sword training with Saber. That's what we've been uh, doing every day, and Saber uh, should always be prepared uh, for battle. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to get beaten up by Saber in the morning, like usual. <laughs> and again, and, and Ren is making that grin. And, oh, sorry, Saber, I wasn't listening. <laughs> It should be I'm beating that crap out of you. Saber may be questioning me, but uh, there, uh, there's no real uh, bite to it. I can sense that she trusts me. Which makes it even harder uh, to meet her gaze now. If our eyes meet, I can't help thinking of that scene on the hill. Yeah, what about you, Ilya? Got it. That's perfect. I'd rather you stay in the house since it's dangerous to go outside. Hmm. It seems like Ilya took a liking to the vento yesterday. I'm a little embarrassed uh, that uh, something so simple pleased her. But at the same damn time, I'm glad to know, know Ilya uh, enjoyed the bento I made. なんだ。それじゃあ、昨日と同じってことね。私も調べ物があるから部屋にこもるけど、午後になったら顔を出しなさい。ちょっと話があるから。調べ物ですか。そう。セイバーなら分かってると思うけど。昨日から流動寺の様子がおかしいのよ。あれだけ精力的にやってた魔力集めも止まってるし、何か動きがあったのは明白でしょ。まあ、残ったマスターの中で一番厄介そうなのは流動寺のやつだしね。使いまでもこ
リンの言う通りです<笑>私はどうかしていましたリンの授業が必要ないなんてどうして思ってしまったのかその理由は簡単だけどまあ知らぬが花ってことでそれじゃあ午前中の鍛錬頑張ってねそいつ頑丈だから死なない程度に痛めつけるぐらいが最適よ<笑> but, too, but not too far in uh, 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 to the,、uh, the end uh, uh, to an, uh, an inch of、uh, his life he still needs to make food And with that, Tosaka leaves the room. Saber,、uh, uh, take what Toka,、uh, Tosaka says with a grain of salt. She can say that uh, because uh, she's never been hit by you. I tell her just in case. For some reason, she seems pleased. Yes, I understand. Phrasing! She responds calmly. Dose Masta Tabenai no Deska, Ilias Peel. Kino ni Kurabeto, Mada Sanwari ni Motodoiti Masenga. Chigaoyo Cochino Taberanai no Matashi Karaino Tabenanga. Mood based Ilia. <laughs> I guess this means Ilya is like me, in which her taste buds are sensitive. <laughs> Chat, this is deja vu for me. What the fuck? Like. My taste buds,、uh, I've,、uh, like I just said, my taste buds are sensitive to spices. Yes, but uh, uh, even if it's not particularly spicy, I can still like,、uh, taste some,、uh, I can still taste some、uh, spices and seasonings very heavily. Ilya and Saber sit next to each other, bickering like two close sisters. It's just past noon. The three of us sit up and face each other, eating lunch together just like yesterday. All right, it's not just lunch that's the same as yesterday. Our training today was as well. Today, though, it was even more awkward. Excuse me. I don't know how to explain it, but、uh, something in my chest stirs whenever I face Saber, and I find myself unable、uh, to rush at her、uh, you know, with the same desperation I used to. That's the hormones. It's not just me. Saber has been、uh, acting weird, too. It used to be that、uh, she never、uh, let an opening go by. The past couple of days, she just waited、uh, for me to make a move, which was、uh, as meant.、Uh, Which has meant the two of us、uh, just kind of ended up staring at each other for a while. Ida's criticism helped、uh, us、uh, get back into the swing of things. I managed to go, up, uh, 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 to go after Saber, but it ended up pretty much the same. She batted、uh, aside my half assed attack and didn't、uh, bother countering. Since she didn't follow up, I whirled on Saber, lunged again, and was once more repelled. Uh, uh, though she,、uh, she again didn't counterattack. Our lackluster、uh, stir session、uh, ended about ten minutes ago. Once again, it was Saber's suggestion we begin our lunch break. We're having the same thing we did、uh, yesterday sandwiches. I figured it wouldn't、uh, do to make、uh, them exactly the same as yesterday, so I used、uh, a few more ingredients. Everyone seems happy. 
Ilya is excited over the colorful sandwiches, and Saber uh, takes a deep, pre be uh, deep breath, preparing for her meal. I think that's Saber's way of showing her enthusiasm. It's much rowdier than yesterday. It's raining and the hardwood uh, floor is cold, but uh, this is also but this also feels like a picnic. あ、もう。そこまでです。イリアスフィール。それでは服が汚れてしまう。全く白の真似をして一口で食べるからそうなるのです。あなたの口は小さいのですから、もう少しおとなしく食べるべきでしょう。Ilya happily munches on a sandwich, and Saber reluctantly wipes Ilya's mouth with a napkin. <laughs> Well, I didn't see this coming. Saber and Ilya seem to have warmed up to each other. Guys, I think Ilya might be discovering something about herself. <laughs> it's so simple for Ilya. Saber is cl uh, Saber, clearly taken aback, stares at, at Ilya, dumbfounded. Even I, just a spectator, uh, 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 even uh, even I, just a spectator, uh, uh, as this unfolds, am caught off, uh, off guard by Ilya's smile. Something in Ilya's smile must have struck Saber. Saber sighs deeply and looks back at her. She sounds bright. And then Saber smiles in a way I've never seen from her. I don't know why, but I'm getting emotional. That smile was great. It was for herself and herself alone. It's not the usual smile I see from her whenever she's protecting someone. It's a smile of sheer happiness for her from her. And no, nothing. Was I making a funny face? Huh? Why? I understand what she's talking about, but I guess uh, so I was just smiling. I see. Well, something good uh, had happened, so I guess I didn't realize I was smiling. Yep, I like the way uh, you smiled just now, Saber. Seeing it made me happy. Yep, I guess I like seeing you smile like that, Saber. Saber nods, though she doesn't seem convinced. 
And then, I don't know what came over her, but she smiles and lifts her head. Huh? What do you mean the other way? I can't meet Saber's gaze. That smile would make anyone lightheaded. I managed to calm myself uh, down and glance sidelong at Saber. She calmly resumes e uh, eating her picnic lunch. Nothing to worry about there. There should be nothing to worry about, yet something is bothering me. In that smile I saw for the first time, it seemed like she was contradicting herself. I listened to the rain in Tosaka's room. Today, under the pretense of, uh, of a magecraft lesson, she performed yet another uh, physical examination like yesterday. She gave me more medicine and then checked all my magic circuits. It's not that I mind doing this. I just don't like feeling that I'm, I'm, doing, that I'm not doing anything productive. She tells me uh, not to move so I can uh, see what happened, uh, so she can see what happens to me. But that doesn't mean I can't talk. Tosaka, do you have a minute? I call out to her as I sit and in my meditative pose. It's about Saber. I really don't know how to explain it, but... I realize I haven't thought uh, this through at all. It's not even uh, a question of what I, uh, can I do for Saber. I haven't even thought uh, about what I want to do for her. Um, well, I was just wondering uh, what she wants to do. She never told us anything she wants to do for herself, so... Uh, no, it's not that. I just don't know why she's so selfless. Yeah, I just don't know what to do about that. Hmm... <laughs> あそこまで徹底していると分からなくもなるわ。でもだからといって無欲ってわけはないでしょ。セイバーだって自分の目的のためにあなたを守っているんだから。Oh, I completely forgot her reason for even becoming a servant. You're right. Saber wants to get the Holy Grail, so it's not like she doesn't have any goals. And that Holy Grail will grant its possessor's wish. That means Saber, or at least, has a wish she wants granted. I don't know what it is, but she wants it enough uh, to, uh, to even become a servant. So it must uh, have some hope in, uh, of saving her. Like, for example, uh, she's here in this time period, and the power of the Holy Grail can help her so she stays here and live a second life. And she would have to finish. Uh, she would have to wish for something, and that uh, big, just to make up uh, for all the suffering and tra uh, and tragedy she endured. Oh, then it, uh, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah, I am getting excited, and yeah, she wouldn't be fighting so hard and let. Uh, as it was uh, for something real big. After all, Saber needs uh, to fight for her own wish. I nod to myself. Tosaka, on the other hand, seems utterly bewildered. Well, what's your reasoning? I can't even ask that. I know. She met her final moment and so alone because she didn't have any desires for herself. So Saber wouldn't and seek for her uh, uh, wouldn't seek for her own salvation now. 
Shouldn't that sh wouldn't seek her own uh, salvation now? Uh, but still, I hoped otherwise, even for a brief moment. Uh, and so I put, uh, so I pushed my distorted desire on her. Our conversation trails off. Just as I think this awkward silence is going to continue forever. Huh? Archer? You mean your Archer? Eh? Um, I wouldn't have uh, the slightest idea. I never knew a single thing about him. Archer went and declared that we were bound uh, to be enemies anyway, so no, he made no effort to communicate with me or Saber. And yet, he may, have, uh, he may have been cynical, but he didn't seem the sort uh, to have stupid objectives in mind. So I see. He didn't look it, but he was uh, a great proud knight in his own right. Yeah, as nice as it sounds, it wouldn't end up being great. Huh, did you tell Archer that too? いったわよ。そしたらあいつ、それが賢者の考えだ。私も同意見だが、今でもこれだけは愚者の夢を守っているのだ。だってさ。まあ、それはいいから、それじゃ他の望みはあるのかって言ったら、あるにはあるが、
生まれないはずの子供を用意するってのもお手の物だったんでしょう。Yeah, I bet. So, yeah, Merlin is quite the character. Why ask this now? Excalibur is a symbol、uh, of King Arthur. It's a sword、uh, that. It's the sword fairies gave to her, famed for,、uh, for being able to cut、uh, through anything without、uh, ever dulling. <laughs> Tessaka looked oddly triumphant. Huh? Was that a weird thing to say? Why is that?、Um, the sword in the stone wasn't Excalibur. The sword broke. He later received、uh, another sword from a fairy in,、uh, in the lake, and that was Excalibur, right? So, so. Excalibur or Asao got get out that time, eh? Marlin was going to get out of the way. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to get out of the way. I'm not going to get out of the way. I'm not going to get out of the way. アサオはためらいもなく剣の方だと答えるんだけどマーリンは叱責するのお間違え召さるな剣は敵を撃つものですがサヤはあなたを守るものその鞘を身につけている限りあなたは血を流すこともなく負傷することもない Tessaka skillfully acts out、uh, the part、uh, of King Arthur and Merlin. So, did she just hit herself on the head there? Look at you,、uh, Tessaka, you're getting into the part. So, what's your point? Tosaka, Saber's wounds do heal. So, I was told that Saber's wounds do heal. So, I was told that Saber's wounds do heal. So, I was told that Saber's wounds do heal. So, I was told that Saber's wounds do heal. So, I was told that Saber's wounds do heal. I see. If you say so, it's probably true. And here's my question You say that King Arthur is immortal, so then,、uh, and why and how did King Arthur die? The legend end, ends with King Arthur's death, right? <laughs> Tessaka's mouth drops open. After freezing up、uh, for a few seconds, she grinds her teeth and looks away. Ah, rookie mistake right there. I've forgotten, but、uh, according to the legend, King Arthur's fate was sealed the moment and the king lost、uh, the important uh, uh, the all important sheath. So, are you convinced now, Tosaka? She doesn't mean that. I can tell she's ready to kick me in the head the moment I laugh at her. It's all good as long as you understand now, but why did、uh, that bother you so much? It shouldn't matter、uh, to you whether、uh, Saber gets hurt or not. This is a tough one. Would there be any benefit in me pointing out、uh, that she makes mistakes a lot? Not just sometimes. By the time the sun sets, the rain、uh, stopped completely. Based on our conversation、uh, during breakfast, we're heading, uh, uh, we're heading to town to look uh, for uh, the other master. 
But I should check you know, something beforehand. I should check Tape you know, Saber's intentions. What is her purpose in fighting? I shouldn't you know, ask her straight out. I'll need to be casual about it. I hack my I hack myself up a bit uh, and then push uh, to my feet. The real the living room seems like a good uh, starting place. I'm going to leverage a peaceful pre-dinner uh, mood to try and get uh, uh, through Saber's stubborn nature. What if, hypothetically, what would we do if we won the Holy Grail War? So much for casual. <laughs> I was going to, I was going to point out that wasn't casual at all. I thought about it a lot and couldn't come up uh, with uh, anything uh, smooth. It was so blunt and it is. <laughs> All three of them offer more or less the same response, though with slightly different expressions. Like I said, after we win, I want uh, to talk about... Uh, uh, after, uh, after we win, I want to talk about what we... Uh, uh, to do once we obtain the Holy Grail. Saber and Ilya uh, don't nod, but they uh, do seem to share their own opinion on the subject. I guess this was kind of a weird, uh, kind of weird to bring up out of nowhere. You think? But I have to play dumb for now. Yeah, well, I'm just, uh, I'm just asking. There are only three servants left, so no, it's not uh, uh, such an unrealistic thought. So, uh, you know, the end, end is kind of in sight. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I would think that. I'm glad Tosaka likes to focus on the, re uh, on the reason for things. Tosaka will allow for uh, the possibility of anything that seems logical, which, re uh, which is really one of her better qualities. This is just something I brought up uh, to discuss, though. So what about you, Tosaka? What would you do you know, if you got the Holy Grail? I try to be as natural as possible with this. Um, I'm going to take a quick, uh, quick bio break. Give me a sec. I'm back. So she's fighting because she doesn't want to lose. I figured that was the case, but didn't know uh, for sure uh, until uh, she said it herself. Two peas on a pod. The two stare at each other in silence. They seem um, to be coming uh, to some sort of understanding. Saber doesn't say anything. She probably doesn't intend to join the conversation. No matter how much she resists, I still have to ask. I have a good idea of your goals. 
I try to turn as, uh, as naturally as possible. So what about you, Saber? She's been quiet this whole time. Saber doesn't reply. Something and uh, saying that something's amiss, Tosaka and Elia stop and turn towards Saber. The silence stretches out uh, for maybe a minute. There it is. Saber just uh, said she has a wish of her own. I see. So what is your wish? I try uh, to calm my racing heart and keep, uh, uh, and keep composed as I ask. Saber doesn't answer. Fine. That's fine. If she can't answer, chances are good that it's because her wish is a selfish one. Knowing Saber, she may hesitate to reveal her wish to anyone if she's wishing for something selfish. And I think I'd rather keep quiet than make something up. I can feel myself trying to back away from the question I raised. <laughs> Saber jerks her head up. If that's what she wanted, there would be no problem, which means... I figured that much. Someone who took an, an oath and drew the sacred sword wouldn't uh, seek a second life. それって、エレになる時の契約のことはい。この身をサーバントとする交換条件として私は聖杯を求めたのです。え<笑> Tosaka stares at Saber. She tilts her head, confused. つまり、セイバーはエレだから呼び出されたんじゃなくて、自分からこの戦いに参加したってことけど、サーバントである以上、エレとして祀られているんだから、自分からこっちの世界に関わるなんてできっこないわよね。じゃあ、セイバーはサ
サーバント側にもマスター側にも代償として支払うものはない。けどサーバントになる前人間から英霊になるには代償行為が必要だって聞いたことがある英霊っていうのは人間の守護者でしょ彼らは死した後も人間のために働いて人の世の滅亡を水面下で防ぐのだとかでそういった守護者になるには生前まだ英雄として現役だった頃に何かと取引をしなくてはならないそれが英霊の契約世界に死後の自分を明け渡す儀式交換条件によって財を得た者が英雄となり英雄としてやりたいことをやった後死後はサーバントとしてもらった財を返す英雄になるために借金をして死んだ後は英霊になることで借金を返すってことサーバントっていうのはその返済金額を横から私たちにかすめ取られて私益されてるってわけうん、そういう人は人間の人間の人間の人間の人間の人間の人間の人間の人間の人間の They get used and summoned as heroic spirit familiars after their death, which means the deal Saber、uh, made uh, uh, to become、um, a heroic spirit was for the Holy Grail. Since Saber obtained the Holy Grail、uh, in her life, the price she had、uh, to pay is serving as a heroic spirit, a sort of、uh, guardian, and even after death. That doesn't sound right. Saber said that her goal was、uh, the Holy Grail, but、uh, she already obtained it and, and she became、um, a hero in exchange for the Holy Grail. Yeshiro, but I see a mother say how your tennis day I know this. Arturia, I saw no nozomiva, each day, each day, say how your tennis day to that. Yeah, Arthur never did obtain the Holy Grail. But I see a mine. セーハイを手に入れなければならなかったそのためにもし聖杯が手に入るなら死後は守護者になっても良いと条件を飲んだのですリンの言う通り人間は英雄になるために世界と契約をし人間以上の力を授かりその代償として死後の自分を売り渡しますですが私は英雄になるときに世界の後ろ盾を必要としなかった幸いなことにアーサー王は英雄になるための支援を必要としなかったのです She didn't need any help to become a hero So Saber became a hero on her own うんけどあなたは英霊としてここにいるアーサー王は英雄になった後で世界に違う交換条件を求めたってことはい私は最後の時にどうしても聖杯が必要になった聖杯がなければ我慢できなかった叶えなくてはいけない願いができてしまっただから英霊の契約をしたのです私の手に聖杯が握られるなら死後は英霊となってあらゆるもののために剣を取ろうと。In her last moment, she wished for the Holy Grail's miracle. Now I understand her feelings. The blood soaked hill, the sword standing against gravestones, the bodies of so many knights, a lone king whose reign ended in betrayal. She didn't deserve the end she met. Even if she hadn't、uh, had a wit、uh, of her own before, she must have thought, I can't die here. This isn't the end I want. And that's why there is,、uh, uh, there is no shame in using、uh, the power of the Holy、uh, Gale, uh, Grail uh, to prolong her life. So, 
つまり死後の自分を売り払ってまで聖杯を手に入れられる手段を取ったのねけどセイバーあなたの出した条件っていうのは生きているうちに聖杯を手に入れるでしょならはい私が生きているうちに聖杯探索はなしえなかった私はアーサー王は最後まで聖杯を手に入れることができなかったのですですがそれでは契約が成り立ちません世界が私をサーバントにするにはアーサー王が生きているうちに聖杯を与えねばならないですからアーサー王は聖杯を手に入れるまで死なないい,いえ死ぬことができないそれじゃああなたはいアーサー王と呼ばれていた私は死を迎える一瞬で止まっているはずです In other words, she's still alive. 時間軸から見れば私はとうに滅びているでしょうですがそれでは契約が果たせないアーサー王は死の直前でサーバントとして召喚され聖杯を手に入れた後死ななければならないのです時間が止まってるんじゃなくて時間に止まってる状態かあなたがサーバントとして何度戦いを繰り返しても構わない最終的には聖杯を手に入れて契約を果たすことは決まっているんだからそのそうですいつかは聖杯を手に入れ私は契約を果たすだからこそ英霊になる前からいずれ英霊化が決定しているという条件であらゆる時代に召喚されるそれはこの町の聖杯だけではありません聖杯が手に入る可能性があるならば私はどの戦場にも召喚されるそうしていつかは聖杯を手に入れ私の望みを叶えた時こそ死の直前で止まっていた私の時間は進みますアーサー王は最後の時を迎え聖杯を手に入れた代償としてこうして英霊となるのでしょう死の直前で覚めない夢を見ているようなものか今回の聖杯戦争もセイバーにとっては夢の一つそして夢から覚めるのは聖杯を手に入れた時だけリンはシローが未熟だから私を霊体化できないと言いましたねけれどそれは違う私は未だ死者ではないから霊体にはなれないのです半端な扱いですがこれでも位置づけは聖者ですから前回の聖杯戦争でも私はそうだったテーマスターンは a p o l o g e t i c She probably feels bad for laying the blame him for her not being able to enter spirit form on my ineptitude. I don't care about that, but there's something I need to ask. Saber, what do you mean you're not dead? I got,、uh, I got that you won't die until you obtain the Holy Grail. And based on、uh, how you described it, you haven't、uh, been alive、uh, since the time、uh, with, uh, King Arthur. But then, who are you right now? You're not a clone of the real person or anything, right? Hi. Kotira ni yobida sale re ere to you noa. Sibete hontai no bunshin no yona mono desma. But as your mother sono itching tashti masen. Say hi o teni ire madeva. She no chokzeni tomata mama de yobida sale te. Lin no itta tori. Asao a jikan to you taiga no ue de tesi ste. But as your sono itch kara. 前か後ろかに飛んで聖杯を求めた後止まっている場所に戻っているのでしょうあっ tried to diagram it all in my head it's pretty simple once I visualize it King Arthur is stopped at the moment before she dies but it doesn't matter、uh, Uh, to the wider flow of, of time. 
It continues on all the way to the present. She jumps to whatever time um, she's needed, then returns to her own uh, uh, frozen moment in time after uh, she uh, completes her duty. If she manages to obtain uh, the Holy Grail uh, in, uh, uh, in one of the times she visits, she'll be swept back uh, to the proper uh, flow and, and die, just as she does in the history we know. Perhaps that, that's how, how heroic spirits work. When they die, they'll, they'll be tra uh, they're transferred back uh, into a sort of nexus where the flow of time stops. And then when they're uh, summoned, they are taken uh, to uh, that point in time when they disappear uh, without, uh, ever re uh, without ever returning. That's probably what uh, is meant by heroic spirit uh, being doubles. <laughs> kind of like a clone made uh, from their original cells. The heroic spirit, which is completely, uh, which completely retains the abilities and memories they had uh, while uh, alive, appears in this world and gains more knowledge, but it's all useless. They have no means to return to their original body and instead just disappear. And so, no matter how many times or in, in how many different eras they're uh, summoned, they're never, uh, there, there will never be any inconsistencies in the heroic spirit's memories. From the moment the person becomes a heroic spirit, they will never change. Even if they obtain new knowledge, uh, they will you know, just disappear you know, once their role is over. So in that sense, Saber is not a complete servant. After each time um, she's summoned, she eventually returns to her own time. She goes back uh, to that moment and she's about to uh, die on that blood-soaked hill.時間旅行にしても Saber is so matter-of-fact about it. It doesn't sound right, though. Using a Holy Grail uh, to grant a wish is fine, but why would that mean Ultria has to disappear? What the hell? Ultria is going to disappear by using the Holy Grail? That's messed up. Saber, you're not going to... I see the image of the girl dying on that uh, hill all alone. You're not going to use the Holy Grail to save yourself? <laughs> I can feel my expression tensing up. I thought I knew Saber's wish, but now my head is spinning, and I feel like growing, uh, throwing up. Why? And yet, I try to push air from my lungs and get that uh, one word out. なぜも何もないでしょう。私は国を守れなかった。国を守るために王となったのに、その責務を果たせなかった。その時に思ったのです。岩の剣は間違えて私を選んでしまったのではないかと。その迷いは常に私の中にありました。私は王にふさわしくないのではないかと。あの時、政権を抜いてしまった時、国を救えなかった私より国を救えたはずのふさわしい王がいたはずです。だから。
もし聖杯の力で王の選定をやり直すことができるならその時に戻ればきっと Is she saying that her nation wouldn't be destroyed if,、uh, if she was able、uh, to go back to that moment? I feel faint. I'm really ang angry at Saber、uh, for uh, uh, wishing for such a thing. That feeling passes、uh, in an instant,、uh, though. I almost said Angie. <laughs> Sabi Angie! I probably uh, uh, look at.、Uh, I probably look like a deer in, in headlights. Isn't it obvious? Saber's wish is not for herself. On top of that, she wishes for her own elimination. She exists because she became、uh, king by drawing、uh, the sacred sword. To pretend that never happened means、uh, she simply wouldn't exist. Let's say we use the Holy Grail to grant her,、uh, her wish. Ultria would never become king. She would、uh, just live、uh, in a timeline where she is an ordinary knight. But then, that would,、uh, that, but then what would happen to the saber I know? Even if it's only temporary, she already、uh, exists as, as a heroic spirit, and her wish is granted. She will continue on, but、uh, as a being meant only for fighting. She's already paid the price for obtaining the Holy Grail. So the saber I know will continue existing, even if,、uh, if Altria、uh, never becomes king. She will, cut off,、uh, she will be cut off from the past and future. She will always and only ever、uh, be the lonely knight dying on, the blood -soak on that blood soaked hill. That's idiotic. I won't allow it. There is no hope of salvation there. If she was able、uh, to do、uh, it all over, and there、uh, really was a better、uh, king, and her nation、uh, did manage、uh, to last longer, and she,、uh, and she was herself、uh, saved, it'd all be lies. Even if it made everyone、uh, around her happy,、uh, I can't、uh, just let the past ten years、uh, uh, she, uh, she fought through be a lie. No, you can't do that. You can't redo things. It wouldn't mean anything if you did, Saber. Don't use the Holy Grail for something like that. You obtain the Holy Grail because you fight for it. You should use that miracle for yourself. I ultra. But... <sighs> How does she not understand? You've already done more than、uh, your duty. You've done so much already. You didn't give up、uh, even、uh, when you were feared, or even when you were betrayed. You held on、uh, to your sword until the end of, and on that hill. So why? Why do you have to keep such promises even after you die? Saber looks bewildered. Ah.、Uh, too late to regret what I said. I shouldn't have bl、uh, blurted out、uh, what I've been dreaming,、uh, that I've been dreaming about Saber's past. A heavy silence hangs between us. I can't think of what to say. Even I can tell、uh, speaking up uh, uh, will、uh, we'll make things worse right now. But I you know, can't,、uh, I can't keep quiet. I just can't keep quiet. Saber, I don't like、uh, when、uh, people aren't、uh, rewarded for their hard work. It's wrong. It's not fair. I get that it's childish, but I want to believe that humans can find happiness、uh, if they really work for it. I'm not going to lose,、uh, lose to other masters. I'm claiming the Holy Grail, no question. That's why I want you to make your own wish. That's why I actually,、uh, I'll actually find some meaning in the stupid war. That's the conclusion I reached. I don't know what、uh, the Holy Grail is, nor do I,、uh, uh, nor do I know if it,、uh, it's even an, an something you should try to obtain. But if it could save Saber, even a little, then I'll go all out for her. 
Oh, shit. <clears throat> the sound of heavy bells rings out, and the house suddenly goes dark. The air changes immediately. The lights go out, but Saber and to uh, Saka, but Saber, Tosaka, and I, and I don't say a word. We try to gauge our uh, surroundings with our uh, with our other senses. The loud ring stops, and uh, and the living room goes silent. And yet, a soft rustling sound uh, ripples uh, through the house. <laughs> I nod in silence. It's the same sound and as when Lancer broke in. Then that could only mean... The sounds are getting closer, louder. Something is sliding against or across uh, something else. It sounds like a swarm of bugs rushing towards the light. The only place that sound doesn't seem to be coming from is the living room. It's not even been a minute since the light went out. Uh, let, since the lights went out, and we're surrounded on all sides by that sound. <clears throat> an enemy, but uh, it doesn't seem like a servant. There's just too many of them. Whatever people might uh, say, I do have uh, some knowledge of mages and magecraft. Even I can sense that there is a lot of magical energy coming from a, a ton of people or things surrounding the house. Twenty, at least. But they also seem weirdly light. I don't sense any human will or intellect. The flapping sounds seem, um, uh, seem to be coming from um, enemy puppets. You know what they are? Ilya speaks up amid the flapping sounds. She, unlike the three of us, is strangely calm. Do you know what this is, Ilya? Ilya is so casual about this. And just then, the sound stops. I grab the wooden sword in the living room. Saber and Tosaka seem, be, um, be, seem to be waiting for me to make a move. I... This is one then that that ends in um uh, this is one that it, uh, that has a bad end to it. Saber and I will both head out. It's clear who the enemy is. If Saber is attacking and with the entire army, there's only one thing for us to do. Us staying here won't do anything. Saber, come with me. Tosaka, you take Elia. <laughs> I love how she's interpreting that. Tosaka grabs Elia from behind and in a full melt, uh, full Nelson, and covers her mouth. Elia, <laughs> her voice muffled, continued uh, shouting insults and expletives. Thanks, but try not to overdo it. You're better off uh, running than fighting if it comes to it. Tosaka nods as if to say she doesn't have to be reminded. 
I turn my back to Tosaka and head towards the veranda and toward the veranda. Saber follows me after nodding to Tosaka. Hi. In that instant, I dot my own eyes. The sword swings down on me. I stand stunned as the blade descends toward my head. Ah! I twist my way and parry with my wood. Uh, I twist away and parry with my wooden sword. Even I don't believe it. My body just reacted the instant I knew I was in mortal peril. The enemy attacks again without missing a beat. A smooth mechanical movement. A fluid, accurate attack. But that's it. It's accurate, but it's not sophisticated. And it lacks the brutality of a killing strike. It seems pathetic next to the strength of Saber's strikes. Like it's barely moving in comparison and uh, uh, Berserker's incredible speed. And let us be reminded... That fucker could move! Back against the wall, I parry again. I step back against the wall. As I step back against the wall, Saber strikes like lightning. I see for my uh, uh, see for yourself. I got a little spooked, but I managed. Saber uh, uh, scolds me for my carelessness. She's right, but I didn't want uh, to stay uh, to just stay behind her. I am. So Saber, what was uh, what was that thing? The whole way is empty. Whatever hideous thing Saber saved me from was completely annihilated by her attack. Uh, I don't know where uh, they were uh, hiding. How the hell did they manage to sneak in? These cruelly assembled uh, things scuttle all around us, closing in like spiders. But they're not the only ones present. Uh, the only present ones I sense. Countless others surround the house, many times more uh, than I see here. Hmm. <laughs> I leap away from the wall. Why you? I strike at the bones with uh, my wooden sword. Saber sweeps away the bones, crawling towards uh, my exposed back. The bones move jerkily towards us, attacking with the same unnatural movements. It's not hard to fight them off, uh, but we're destroying uh, more of the house with every strike. And I only have a wooden sword. Even, even if, if I use strengthening on it, it won't last. As much as I hope I'm wrong, it seems like the bones heading for us are endless. I really hope this isn't going uh, to go on until uh, we both collapse from exhaustion. Damn, where are these things coming from? I can't help but complain as I fight back to back with Saber. There aren't, uh, uh, there aren't that many uh, bones coming at me. Some seem um, to be uh, coming from inside the house, but most seem um, to be coming from the yard. Saber is slashing away at the bones coming from the yard. It looks like they're heading uh, towards uh, the living room. Tosaka and Elia are in there, and Saber uh, has her hands full dealing with the bones heading that way. Saber readies her sword. There may uh, be no one, uh, no need uh, to hide. Uh, there may be no need to hide it now. Her sword is, uh, is ready uh, to demonstrate its true power.
Wait, Saber, don't use Excalibur right now. I don't care if you destroy uh, that, uh, the, uh, the house, okay? Okay, I might care a little, but uh, we're in, in, in a residential area. You know what'll happen if you use it here. I shout to Saber as I bat away the bones striking at me. I know, these things are like familiars, right? Then we, uh, then if we did, you know, defeat the one who's controlling them, that should wipe out the whole army. Saber, can you find Caster? Fine, let's give her what uh, she wants. We aren't uh, going uh, to last like this. The art is just ahead. If Caster is just out uh, there, she shouldn't be too difficult to reach. But if we do that, we won't be defending the house. Saber is fighting the bones off now, but as soon as uh, she's outside, the wall, uh, the walls holding them back will be gone. I should. Um, I need to check on this one. Um, yeah, this is another one that'll lead to, uh, uh, this is another one that'll lead to a dead end. Oh, no. No, not quite yet. Believe in Tosaka. Okay, I gotta, uh, I gotta go take a food break. I'll think, um, so I'll extend the stream for however long I'm gone. Give me a sec, guys. But I'm back. Ah, I hear glass uh, shattering. I hear the sound of intense fighting come um, uh, come from the living room. I know. My delaying is making the situation worse. We're going after Castor. I've already uh, I already said uh, Toasaka should take care of Elia. She hurried hands down in the hole, mowing down bone hands as she goes. The bone soldiers disappear before getting away, uh, getting anywhere near Saber. They are like vanishing snowflakes. Saber scatters so many in her path that looks like me. Eh, oh, I almost forgot. So roughly 15 minutes. Saber, Saber scatters so many in her, in her path. It looks like, like a snowstorm. Huh. She said uh, she trusts her back to me, but she pretty clearly doesn't uh, need me to protect her. I'm once again reminded how skilled of a swordsman Saber is. Saber charges through them, unwavering. 
she cut uh, she cuts her way straight in, uh, to the source of these bones. Her only goal no, her only go uh, goal now is to defeat uh, the yet unseen sixth servant that has invaded the house. <clears throat> Saber stops. The soldiers, where they've been, which had uh, uh, been coming out of us uh, in droves, are suddenly gone. This must be our destination. Hey, Lotus Prince, welcome to the stream. How was your day? A distorted human finger, uh, figure looms ahead of us. It wears a robe of some kind, but the robe itself uh, is so dark and it looks more... Uh, that it looks more like a hole in the night. A dark shadow. As soon as I lay eyes on the figure, I'm stuck by a, an indescribable sense of anxiety. Uh, doing all right, thanks. Getting uh, ready uh, for the weekend or at least uh, uh, staff for to work on uh, Saturday. Yeah, well, hope, uh, hope that uh, 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 hope that doesn't uh, turn out uh, too taxing for you. <clears throat> the figure chuckles. It seems the dark figure is the master of uh, those bone creatures, Caster. But, there's no master. There's no sign of a master nearby. Maybe she's the same, uh, um, Lan uh, maybe she's the same as Lancer, able to move uh, even far, uh, even far from her master. <clears throat> Sarah challenges her directly with the question. She killed her own master. I can't see the expression on, on the robe servant's face, but I can hear the terrible coldness in Castor's voice. マリオ君の供給源なんて<笑>私はそれが我慢ならなかっただけよ。今も昔も誰かの手足になるのは懲りごりなの。だから使う側に回っただけ。あなたに非難される言われはないわ。だろうな。私も貴様の非合理など興味はない。Saber tilts her head just slightly. She's only about 10 meters from Caster. Saber should be able uh, uh, to close that distance and bring Caster down in a heartbeat. Saber is intent only on killing. I'm not about to oppose her in this case. All I smell from Castor is blood. She must be telling the truth about murdering her master. Her raid tonight it was clearly intended to kill everyone in the house. So there's no reason for me to stop Saber. Besides, Castor isn't, isn't even a threat to Saber. Even I can see Castor's abilities. She is, she is the weakest when it comes to one-on-one -on -one combat. If Saber engages her, she can only lose. Don't do it, Saber. Even with all uh, that in mind, I can't shake off the sense of anxiety. It's not the same feeling of hopelessness, inevitable uh, death I got whenever we were in Berserker's presence. 
Do I have some sort of aversion to her? Or is it uh, a warning of something dangerous? Forget about me. Somehow my left hand is aching to warn me that Saber uh, should stay away from that thing. Gah. I hesitated too long. Saber launches herself at the dark shadow. Caster smiles. She doesn't look at, at, at all disturbed by Saber's rush towards her. I'm sorry, let me hear that again. She was saying words. <laughs> she mutters Atlas. I can't understand what she says, but it sends something beyond and words straight into our minds. The world lurches and distorts. Because remember, Atlas is the titan holding up the world in Greek mythology. The air grows denser around Saber. What? I hear, even, uh, even feel a tremendous impact. The ground flexes like something massive slammed into Saber from above. No way, she activated some kind of magecraft without using a muscle? We got new servant data. Okay, we obviously don't know her true name or her master. 163 centimeters, 51 kilograms, alignment neutral evil. E strength, constitution D, agility C, magic A plus. Luck B, noble phantasm C. Territory creation, creating an advantage uh, uh, and just territory for oneself as a mage. It is possible to form um, a temple that exceeds uh, a shed. Iron construction can create a tool uh, tinged in magical energy. Can even create uh, an elixir uh, of immortality, albeit an imitation. Rapid words of divine. Can uh, activate uh, magecraft without saying an incantation or uh, or connecting with magic circuits. Even great magecraft can be can uh, uh, can be cast in one step, single action. There are words uh, for uh, the age of uh, there are words from the age of God. So mar uh, so modern people cannot pronounce them. Oh wait. We shouldn't have our noble phantasm, yeah. Actually, I think she murmured something like an incantation. Incantations can be shortened. Simpler, uh, the simpler magecraft, the shorter the spell can be made. But this isn't uh, by any means simple magecraft. Not many mages could visualize such a thing in a single breath. Even if it were possible, uh, they need to uh, prepare uh, a catalyst ahead of time, like Tosaka does. But Caster triggered uh, the magecraft with a uh, with a murmured word. I've never, uh, uh, I never even heard of anything like this. And that is Caster's magecraft. She is no mere mage. Saber, Saber hovers there, frozen. Her feet still uh, kick in, in midair. Uh, she hangs suspended there. The air around her seems to have uh, to have thickened, uh, thickened into gelatin. Gah. I can't get close. Some sort of invisible barrier holds me back. The murmur has seemed um, confined to Saber, but so long as her feet don't touch the ground, she can't move. A ridiculous laugh echoes out uh, from the depth uh, so of that dark robe. Saber is still, sus uh, is still suspended, helpless, in midair. <laughs> she gives no two shits! <laughs> she just uh, says uh, as, if it, uh, as if it were some dull trick. Caster steps back. After casually nullifying and Caster's magecraft, Saber uh, surges forward uh, towards her at lightning speed. But I...
Um, I think I accidentally saved over my extra data. And we're saving another one. Yeah, I uh, I saw while uh, checking. No. Saber raises her sword. She's already closed in on Caster. No, don't save her. I desperately sprint towards Saber, my heart racing. Saber suddenly halts. It's not clear whether Caster did anything. Saber tenses up after sensing something from Caster. Saber twists away to dodge. However, bony arms burst from the ground and grab her legs. A sharp blade emerges uh, from the folds of Caster's robe. It's an oddly shaped dagger. Thin and brittle, the blade isn't even meant for killing. Saber regards it in disgust and casts her strikes, clearly seeing her opportunity for victory. Being grabbed uh, from the ground must, be, uh, uh, must have surprised Saber, as Saber is unable to dodge the delicate uh, 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 or deflect the falling blade. It simply takes Takes the, uh, the blow, looking astonished. And simply takes the blow, looking astonished. Why you? <laughs> I hear Caster's voice from um, behind me somewhere. I can't see her expression. The only thing I can do you know, is throw myself in front of Saber and take the blow in her place. <laughs> Ow! It wasn't graceful. I didn't have uh, the confidence to just step in and take the dagger uh, to the chest. I didn't have the I didn't uh, have the, the agility uh, uh, the grace to pirouette uh, either. <laughs> so instead, I tried to shield Saber, lunging and uh, uh, hugging and her to obscure Caster's target. So Caster's dagger plunged into my back, tearing through my uh, spine in in a moment of unbelievable pain. <clears throat> I stop myself from crying out in pain. I muster my strength to support Saber. I can't hear what she's saying, even as, uh, as close as she is to my ear. Get back, Saber. Behind me. Saber understands before I can gather her uh, uh, my voice to tell her to jump. I go flying. Saber shakes off uh, the bony hands gripping her legs and carries me with her. Saber's voice is urgent. And then Shira like gives a thumbs up. <laughs> she, laid, uh, she lays me gently on the ground, but the pain only grows uh, is worse. It feels like scissors tore open my back and, uh, uh, and someone uh, poured uh, lead uh, down my spine. The pain is unreal. But I'm not exactly losing my mind over it. Hearing Saber practically shouting actually makes me calmer. Dummy, you don't have to shout. I can hear you. This is nothing. It just hurts. Forget about me. Take care of Caster. I point in Caster's direction. My head's still down. But afterwards, I'm whooping your ass! Saber turns towards Caster. Saber's voice is harsh, angry. The black shadow clicks her uh, tongue in irritation and raises as, as the strange dagger in her hand. Uh, 
あなたが直感した通りある事柄に関してのみ万能とされる魔法の札よ触れたくないのなら私には近寄らないことねセイバーセイバーズ take、uh, talk、uh, no、yeah. Saber, what the hell? Castro's talking bald, but she didn't、uh, seem to,、um, as composed as, as earlier. Even a powered mage、uh, like Castro can't hurt Saber as long as she is, is only using magecraft. Whatever a noble phantasm might be, it can't hurt Saber. Even if she,、uh, even if she, surprises, as, uh, even if she surprises her with it. You should、uh, be. Beat her, no problem. I give her、uh, order uh, uh, through gritted teeth. Ara, so it ain't no saber. Tashkani Anata Narawa, t a s h i o i t s m e r a r e Kedo, so no I dani darena so cono to call Mamor no Cashirane. You madam on I de Shokedo, but as no magic and a tsuji nino a Akuma de Anata da ke. Anata a so cono boya cara hana de reva. 追い詰められた私が何をするか予想がつくのではなくて貴様セーバーズ voice rumbled、uh, from, deep within her, from deeper in her chest The rattling of bones grows louder I'm kneeling on the ground and saber、uh, and saber hold、uh, uh, her sword defending me、uh, uh, as the bones surround us and then Shiro raises both arms Pulls、uh, the finger with both of them. <laughs> Damn it! I messed up. Even if I manage to save Saber, there's no point in with me being left so weak. I can't move properly, so no, I'm, I'm just slowing Saber down. Castor would be no threat、uh, to Saber alone, but with. Uh, 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 but with me to worry about. What? Saber? Master, what am I to take us? I'm a Korea Tadashi sent a kiss. Saber lowers her sword. I think I can hear a caster laugh amid, uh, 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 amid the sound of rattling bones all around us. Hanasio Kiko Casta. ジョーケンによっては見逃してやってもいい。正気。あなたたちの命は私が握っているのですよ。そんな強気な態度に出られると、つい握りつぶしてしまいそうだ。間違えるな。貴様が握っているのは私ではなく、私のマスターの命だけ
残り3人ではアサシンはすでに倒されたのかさあもういないのだから倒されたのでしょう主も守れないサーバントは消えて当然よ。God damn! <laughs> Assassin was defeated? Does that mean and the master in, and Ryudo Temple is gone? I didn't fight at them or even know who they、uh, were, but、uh, now there's、uh, one less master. So the only remaining servants are Saber, Caster, and Lancer, who hasn't shown up、uh, since the first night. ホーグはその持ち主でなければ使えないとエレーならば分かっていいよああそうだったわねけどそれならあなたごといただくまでの話よセイバーどんなに優れた騎士でも捕らえてしまえば道徒でも怪獣できるし何よりあなたは私の好
I can tell no as far no uh, uh, I can tell as far away as I, as I am. I don't gl uh, I don't blame Caster for uh, being intimidated. Like the icy uh, like some icy hand has, has a grip on her heart since so, and she looked uh, straight into his eyes. Caster's voice trembles as she, uh, trembles as she speaks. She must know she's doomed if she doesn't do something. But does he sound familiar by any chance? His answer comes um, uh, comes as a death sentence. I hear a loud snap. By the time I realize uh, it's the sound of him clicking his fingers, the tragedy has begun. Myriad weapons appear in air, shooting uh, in the air, shooting towards Castro like bullets from um, a, from a machine gun. Castro raises her arm. A conceptual shield envelop envelops her to form a glassy film um, in front of Castor. It is likely every bit as durable as Berserker himself, but her, effort, you know, it's our pro her efforts are probably uh, fruitless, as the barrier is merely glass. The crystalline barrier shattered as uh, under the deadly rain and of so many weapons. She sounds utterly uh, dumbfounded. With not a modicum of, um, of concern and for Castor, as she uh, so pitifully tilts her head in wonder, the weapons tear through uh, uh, through you know, her dark robe. They are merciless. Spears tear into her, sending fabric uh, flying, only for yet more of uh, them to plunge into her body. Swords come down on her, on her falling form, while arrows uh, sail uh, toward uh, her arm as, it, as it, uh, it's about to hit the ground. An axe chops off, uh, off the head about uh, to complain about uh, uh, about to complain of the pain. All of it brings Castor uh, to un untold peaks of agony. She can't possibly survive. I mean, few people can survive a decapitation. Castor succumbing to an endless hail uh, of so many different weapons is no longer even unrecognizably human. The wind flows. Her tattered, empty robe floats away. The shredded pieces of it fly skyward uh, in the evening breeze. That torn robe tried uh, as valiantly uh, to hold its form. Maybe because uh, it, uh, it's the only thing remaining uh, to remind us of Castor. I'm completely speechless. My frozen mind is fixed on the miserable remnants of the robe as they float away. And then... God damn, dude! The man, is gold, the man in gold grunt, uh, uh, grunts contemptuously. What? I'm not hallucinating. The dark robe twists uh, it's like a coil of a snake, then sprouts wings to fly away. But it's too late. I don't know what uh, the man did, but I only see a crack uh, in the night sky itself. Like a wave breaking out of the sea, the fault uh, line engulfs uh, uh, the fluttering robe. Uh, it's like uh, a person being run over by a steamroller. The robe falls. Castor is beneath it, unscathed. And then... A storm of magical swords rains down onto her. Her scream splits the night. More swords fall upon uh, her in response. And her scream, uh, and her scream uh, grows louder. <laughs> Castor must uh, be able to heal herself like Saber. Even all those swords impaling her still uh, is still not enough to kill her. But it's hard to watch. The torrent of swords do not stop. 
Each weapon is different. No two are alike. And as much, excuse me, as much as I don't want to admit it, each of the weapons is a magical sword or spear and is easily a match for a servant's noble phantasm. <laughs> An exhaustible supply of noble phantasms rains down on Castor. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seeing the way she struggles over uh, struggles under it is just. God damn! Kudos to the voice actor! That is the end of Caster. She disappears along with the black as that was hiding her. The infinite cycle of torture that seems to drag forever lasted, in actuality, about 10 seconds. During that time, Saber stood scowling at the Golden Knight. を捉えるなど特殊にするのも滞在。あれは王であるさて、久しいな、セイバー。覚えているか俺が下した決定を。his turn turns am uh, amicably uh, as, as he addresses Saber. But Saber doesn't answer. She only glares uh, 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 all the more intensely at him. He laughs heartily. My heart's pounding, partially from the disaster I just uh, witnessed, but beyond that, the way he's looking at Saber is making me nauseous. He glances towards the house, annoyed. Hmm? I look and see Tosaka and Ilya on the veranda in front of the living room. Ilya looks up at the man and like she's has just seen a ghost. She strains her eyes for a moment, then shakes her head in disbelief. Ilya jumps off the veranda and glares at the man as if in challenge. What? Wait, Ilya! My words don't reach her. Ilya releases a mass of magical energy straight at the man. I hear it uh, rushing through the air. He does nothing. The mirrored shield uh, appear, uh, a mirrored shield appears in front of him and reflects Ilya's attack back at her. She's been so blind and desperate in her attack that she now has no time to react to it. Ilya can only stand there as her attack rebounds towards her. Tosaka steps in and, and, and saves her, blocking the attack. 
今回はまた変わり種だな前回の鉄を踏まぬよう少しは工夫したということか He looks down at Elia, scrutinizing her. He looks at Elia the same way he looks at Saber, coolly, as though appraising prized possessions. Elia glares at the man while Tosaka tries to hold, him ba uh, hold her back. He says it so simply. I'm not sure why that、uh, had any effect on her. <laughs> Ilya trembles violently, then slumps to the ground. That's it. Nothing else can happen. Tosaka and I can only look up at the man. We completely understand. He's not looking at us. If either of us、uh, so much as speak up, meet,、uh, we'll meet the same、um, fate as Castor, but not Saber. Her silence as she stares up at、uh, the Golden Knight is entirely different than ours. Saber tries to keep her voice under control. Tosaka and I can only gasp in surprise. Seihaiwa <laughs> In other words, he's letting us live because he stopped caring about our existence. And with that, the man in gold turns away. He turns his back uh, uh, to us as if to demonstrate、uh, that we are no, lo、uh, that we are, uh, no threat. あの時から俺の決定は変わらない。次に出向くまでに心を決めておくがいい。He disappears. The tension fades and the yard、uh, uh, returns to it,、uh, the usual tranquility. But the only thing that returns、uh, but that but it's the only thing that returns to how it was. The enemy house the Emiya house is in shambles and Elia has fainted. And Saber, still with her、uh, back to us, remains silent. New Archer. Look at this guy's stats 182, 68 kilograms, chaotic good. I don't know how you, know, you could call this guy good.、Uh, strength B, Constitution C, Agility C, Magic B, Luck A, Noble Phantasm EX. Magic Resistance E. His magic resistance is bunk, though. Protection against Magecraft cannot,、uh, it cannot nullify Magecraft, but simply reduces damage of a certain value. A skill that allows movement,、uh, movement and even without a master. The ability to command and then lead large,、uh, lead large armies with this amount of charisma, it is closer、uh, to magecraft after a curse rather than a, than a skill representing high esteem. Look at all these new weapons we just got. Dane's Leaf. The magical sword、uh, of the Nibelung lie. Dane's Leaf is, the, is a cursed noble phantasm that brings ruin to its owner. This sword was passed down、uh, 
uh, through the tribe that killed uh, the Norse hero Siegfried. And it is, it is initially part uh, of uh, the horde uh, of Fafnir dra uh, the dragon. It holds the powerful curse of retaliation, while other uh, while also driving uh, the owner's fate to ruin. Uh, magic swords and sacred swords carry uh, magical swords and sacred swords carry both glory and destruction. But this noble phantasm only brings destruction to his owner. Its owner, Vajra. One of the core divine and weapons of Indra, the god of thunder in ancient Indian mythology, Indra was a phenomenal uh, was a phenomenon initially spread uh, to India uh, by the Aryans, and the Vajra is also officially known uh, as as the uh, Shrivi uh, Jaya. As Buddhism grew in, in influence, Indra's name became Sakra or uh, Taisha Kutan, and, and his divine symbol's uh, name changed as, you know, changed as well. Vajra is, is a noble phantasm that can only be loosed once, dealing damage equivalent to a B-plus attack. It is, is a convenient weapon that inflicts a fixed amount of damage, regardless of the user's magical energy. Vajra, uh, Vajra refers to the, di the diamond pestle uh, carried by the Buddhist gods. So he's just got a godly weapon in his arsenal. Durandal. Um, Sacred Sword uh, of Roland uh, and the and the Palin uh, uh, and from medieval Europe. Durandal uh, uh, was, uh, was said to have been granted uh, to Charlemagne by angels, and he bestowed the sword upon Roland, chief among and, and the twelve peers. It is said uh, to be a you know, radiant sword containing three miracles. It does not lo uh, lose its sharpness, even and if its wielder's magical energy is exhausted. As with Caliber, and it is forged you know, to be a splendid symbol of authority. Harpe. The divine sword of, uh, uh, of Perseus, the famous hero of Greek mythology, used to slay the Gorgon Medusa. Harpe itself is not particularly outstanding as a sword, but its most unique property is its ability to refract uh, longevity. It is a divine power that nullifies the powers of immortality, and wounds made by Harpe can never be restored, though healing via natural uh, laws is still possible. No, uh, it uh, it was used to kill Medusa, the youngest of the three immortal uh, three immortal sisters. I set a futon out in the living room and lay the unconscious Elia on it. She may have fainted, but uh, her fate is as peaceful at least. See if you can guess this guy's true identity. <laughs> I feel a slap up on my back. Ouch, Tosaka, is that any way to treat the injured? Just who was the dumbass who got himself stabbed in the first place? Cold! She wraps the bandage around my right shoulder with surprising skill. It's past ten. After our battle with Castor, Tosaka began treating my wounds as soon as we got back to the living room. Well, she started, but most of my wounds have already healed, so now she's just fussing over me. Who told you? I mean, no. Anata, really uh, of course I am. Totally. Guys, I think she's on to me. I think she said something similar before. Hey, I'm just an ordinary human being. Even I don't know what's going on with my body, so don't bother asking. Jordan, Matto 
な人間が脊髄切られてピーシャンしてるかっていうのよ便利だからあえて追求しなかったけどいい加減不気味になってきたわもしかしてあんた首を切られない限り死なない土地の出だったりしない<笑> Can we not catch that theory? <笑> The scary thing, thing here is that Tosok is serious. One of these days, she might actually try for my neck with an axe. Saber, that's so more the show. Gay was saber that to a montakedo. So then he stuck the Fujimi Sigirte Yuka. Shiro no Tuno Yuka, Shiro no Mono de Vanaino Desca. So no, can I janai? 教科の一つ覚えのシロがそんな高等技術をマスターしてると思うこいつのデタラメぶりは間違いなくあなたとつながってるからよセイバーの自己回復能力がそのままシロに流れてるんじゃないそうなのでしょうか今までそのようなつながりは感じませんでしたがそれならば今も私の魔力はシロに流れていなければおかしいですし第一私の自然治癒は白セイバーどうしたのいきなり青ざめた顔しちゃってそうなのでしょうか今までそのようなつながりは感じませんでしたがそれならば今も私の魔力は白に流れていなければおかしいですし第一私の自然治癒は白ほど強くはありますサイバー・スターズ・ウォーフ・ン・ド・スペース、アパレリー・ナー・ヒーリング・トーサーカー。まさか、そんなはずは。サイバー・シェイクス・ウォーフ・ン・ド・スペース、アパレリー・トーサーカー。トーサーカー・ナイン・エンス・チェンジ・ロックス。サイバー・スター・ティング・ウィーディ。アクション・アイノー・ワイ。エヴァ・シンセット・ゴールド・ナイト・アピアッ、サイバー・スピン・プリー・ダウン。シロのことは保留にしておきましょうそれよりセイバーあなたさっきのやつと顔見知りだったのあの金ピカセイバーが自分のものだとか言ってたけどセイバー doesn't answer she obviously doesn't want to talk about it but I still want to know Tosok is asking the questions I want answers to Saber, if you know, then tell us. Who was that guy? You called him Archer. Hi. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. I'm not sure what I'm saying. A servant. So he really is a servant. A servant. <laughs> That's pretty obvious. That could be a real problem for us. I can tell. I only saw him briefly, but it was more、uh, than enough、uh, to get a sense of what、uh, the monster he is. それで8人目よ一つの期間で召喚できるサーバントは7人が限度のはずでしょ数が減ったから補充するなんてことは絶対にないそもそも7人以上の召喚は聖杯だって魔力が持たないわサーバントが7人っていうのはそれが一度に呼び出せる限度数だからでしょなら8人目はどうしたって呼び出す待ったセイバーあなた前回の戦いであいつと出会ったのその通りですビン前回の聖杯戦争における最後の一日火の海の中で私は彼と戦った For a moment my entire body tenses セイバーフォーディンのシーオフファイア This is nothing new. I already heard from Kotomine that the fire was caused、uh, by the Holy Grail War. 
so it shouldn't be a surprise. I've been trying to think about... I've been trying not to think about it all this time. なぜなら私は逆にあいつに任された。今回とは違う。きちんと召喚されて敵なしだったあなたが勝てなかった相手ね。Saber hangs her, a her head, but doesn't answer. And that, uh, and that's an answer enough. Saber couldn't win? Not this imperfect Saber hobbled by my weakness, but Saber with nothing holding her back? Is that even possible? If you consider her expressly in terms of her strength as a swordsman, Saber isn't invincible. She was weaker than Berserker, but Saber has her noble phantasm. The other servants' noble phantasms are powerful, but Saber exceed, exceeds them all. It's hard to believe there uh, could be a hero in this world uh, that her sacred uh, sword can't, uh, can't defeat. <laughs> My mind stops working. It's not that I uh, agree with Tosaka's uh, uh, assessment, but she's de uh, describing what I've been hoping and could, uh, 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 what I've been hoping could uh, be possible since yesterday. <laughs> There's a heavy silence. Yet, why does Tosaka look so pleased? Tosaka, why do you look so happy? ようするに前回の戦いで最後まで勝ち残ったサーバントなんでしょ all claim. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Tosaka. I don't know who the heck that uh, uh, that guy is, but he's a servant, and he's remained in this world since the previous war, which means there, there's a way for Saber to do the same. <laughs> He didn't have a noble phantasm that made uh, clear who he was? That's ridiculous. A servant who doesn't have a noble phantasm wouldn't be a servant, right? Besides, he just... Remember, these suddenly popped up, meaning, meaning they were among the weapons. And they're each from a different uh, uh, from a different legend. <laughs> Tosaka think, uh, thinks hard, uh, thinks hard uh, for a moment. She folds her arm um, over her chest, frowning, and then just tilts her head in confusion. Huh? 
Huh? What's going on, Tosaka? What's impossible? Tosaka looked at uh, Soma uh, as crazed as she muttered uh, to herself. She looks a bit like uh, she's tumbling down a rabbit hole. She's even starting to grind her teeth. Hey, Tosaka. Leaving her to her own devices will do more harm than good. If I don't stop her right now, we'll wind up uh, paying the price later. Especially me. Tosaka! Tosaka! Come back to us! Uh, I'm not trying to butt in. You're talking about uh, that guy's noble phantasm, right? Judging from their shape, if there was Dainsleaf, Harpe, Durandal, Vajra, Calibog, and Guy... Oh, and Guybolg. I don't know the Chinese one, but I think I uh, uh, covered all the famous ones. I don't love the face she's making. It leaves me feeling even worse. I don't know much, but I uh, just blurted out uh, what, what leaped into my mind. え、The two look perplexed. Well, with so many noble phantasms, we have no hope of determining who he is. It's like hiding in a leaf in a forest. Tosaka, obviously annoyed, glares at me, expecting I'm not, uh, expecting, I'm not sure what. She's just taking her frustration out on me, I guess. Like what? Hmm, she may be right. Haha, <laughs> I get it. You're making fun of me. I've got nothing. I raise my hand up and surrender. Tosaka groans. Huh? They weren't fakes? Huh? They weren't fakes? How'd I figure that out? Besides, fake noble fan uh, phantasms uh, wouldn't have harmed Caster. I'm just saying, they were real. Actually, everything else seemed fake. It's intuition. I can't explain it, but those were all real. Lancer's guy Bolg is real, of course, but the spear that other guy used is also the real guy Bolg. What? Her making that face isn't ma making explaining this any easier. It doesn't seem uh, that I... Uh, 
It doesn't it help that I have no idea uh, how I know this. I just know all his novel, uh, novel phantasms are real. I can feel it. Maybe it's because I uh, used projection during that uh, our battle against Berserker. After seeing all those novel phantasms, I can tell they're all real. A great weapon is imbued with uh, specific concepts, while, uh, while imitations lack something. I learned that much uh, when, uh, when I uh, you know, replicated Saber's sword. In that regard, I think all novel phantasms um, that uh, Servant had were perfect. シロの発言はとりあえず置いておいて。あいつの正体がわからない以上、次は目的なんだけど。テサケスニックスグランスアットセイバー。あいつも正派を狙ってるのは当然として。気になる点がもう一つあるのよね。セイバー、はっきり
Super bitter tea for Dozak. <laughs> After teasing Saber for a good while, Tosaka gulp, and I gulps down her bitter, bitter tea and gets up. Yeah, go to sleep. Don't come back here. I don't know why eh, she's so amused, but Tosaka's uh, mood seems good, even as uh, she turns and's back uh, to the outbuilding uh, into the outbuilding yeah i intend to but i'm going uh, to watch Ilya a little more if she seems all right i'll take her to the spare room and then i'll go to bed too <laughs> And that's where our conversation ends. Tosaka was the one uh, making all the noise, so uh, uh, so it, uh, it's gotten an awkward now that it's quiet. Well, it's not that awkward. I'm anxious because there's so many questions rattling around in my head and so many things I want to say. Come to think of it, I haven't really been uh, able to talk to Saber about the Holy Grail, about her not being dead. About how even and if she obtains the Holy Grail, there is no salvation for her. There's no need to explain why. She still doesn't and have, have a wish for herself. Saber, about our conversation earlier. Our eyes meet. Hers tell me she knows what had I want to say. Hi. <laughs> what she tries uh, to, divert, uh, to divert what I have to say. Uh, uh, with her uh, quiet tone. But I have to talk to her. I said about our, uh, uh, I said about our earlier conversation, Tosaka said servants can stay in this world if they obtain the Holy Grail, so... So you're going to redo the selection of the king rather than saving yourself uh, from the brink of death? You want uh, to start over uh, from the very beginning? She says this like she's talking to a stranger. For some reason, I get real mad. You idiot, wake up! To hell with a king's duty. What matters is, is that you're here, so you should do what you want to do. You're strong, right? Then finish off the war right now, get your uh, holy grail, and quit being a servant. If you have a wish, don't use it uh, to go back and in time to redo everything. If you want to change, don't change your past itself, but a way to change now, then return to the past from, the, uh, from here. Saber doesn't answer. She sighs. Shiro, she rejects what I said outright. それに聖杯があれば Dun dun dun! What? The edges of my vision uh, goes dark. I nearly fall backward, but catch myself uh, with both hands. Kritsugu and Mia? Hi.十年前、前回の聖杯戦争における私のマスターは彼でした。私とキリツグは最後まで勝ち残り、聖杯はキリツグの手に渡った。アーチャーとそのマスターはまだ残っていましたから、あとは彼らを倒すだけで 
聖杯戦争は終了するはずだったですが桐次は聖杯を捨てたのですその結果町は火に包まれましたあの男は私に命じて聖杯を破壊させた聖杯に触れられるのはサーバントだけですから桐次は最後のレイジを使って私の手で強制的に聖杯を破壊させたのです聖杯が失われてはサーバントはこの世にとどまれない桐次も私をとどめようとは思わなかった私の記憶はそこまでですあのアーチャーとの決着も私を裏切った桐次を問いただすこともできなかった It's not like I never thought about it. My old man was a mage. If he lived in this town, he could have been involved in a Holy Grail war. But still, why didn't you tell me, Saber? Why didn't you tell me old, my old man was a master? So Huh? Why did you want to tell me? Shiro, you are the one who saw my past. I saw your past. I saw your past. I saw your past. I saw your past. シロの記憶にいるエミア・キリツグは立派な人物ですですが一言で言ってしまえば彼は典型的な魔術師だったものが目的にしか興味はなく阻むものは何であろうと排除するおよそ人間らしい感情など彼には見当たらなかったシロの記憶にいるエミア・キリツグは立派な人物ですですが私の記憶にある彼はそのような人物ではなかった私が戦いを通して話しかけられたのはサンドだけですそれが何であるかは言うまでもないとは思いますが yeah, he only talked to her to use the command spells. 残忍というわけではなかったし殺人鬼というわけでもなかったけれど彼には情というものが存在しなかった桐次が私を道具として扱ったように彼本人もまた自身を道具としてしか見ていなかった桐次はあらゆる感情を殺しあらゆる敵を殺したそこまでして信じたものが何であったのかは私にはわからないただその目的であった聖杯を前にして彼を告白すればそこまでして信じたものが何であったのかは私にはわからないただその目的であった聖杯を前にして彼は私に破壊を命じたあの時ほどレイジの存在を呪ったことも私を裏切った相手を呪ったこともありません There's truth in Saber's words No, they must all be true I realized I knew nothing about Kuritsugu, uh, uh, about what Kuritsugu was like before I met him. There was no way for me to find out what kind of person uh, he'd been before uh, that, and there was no need. Even if Kuritsugu and Mia was cold-hearted, it, uh, it wouldn't change a thing. The man uh, who adopted Shiro and Mia as his son was so much warmer. That's the only truth about him to me. But what nags at me is, if Kuritsugu truly was so you know, ruthless, then his final moments were uh, just uh, too empty and futile. I see, then maybe I was able to summon you because I'm Kuritsugu's son. <laughs> Master, 
聖杯戦争に参加したマスターとしての準備はその家系が全て揃えたといいます彼らは私の遺品をコーンウォールから発掘し、キリツグに委ねて聖杯戦争に臨ませた。キリツグはそれを触媒にして私を召喚したのです。ですから、キリツグ本人には私を呼び寄せる因子もなければ、属性が近いというわけでもありません。シローが私を引き寄せたのは、何か別の力が働いたからでしょう。I got it. I'm not that surprised my old man was a master. That doesn't surprise.、Uh, uh. What does surprise me is that the servant、uh, is the same King Arthur with me now. And one more thing Saber said that the Holy Grail was destroyed. Then maybe this war is meaningless to begin with. I don't get it. You already knew there's no Holy Grail, right? So why did you、uh, decide to join this ridiculous war? <laughs> けれど私が呼ばれた以上、聖杯はなければおかしい。忘れたのですか、シロ。私は聖杯を手に入れるためにサーバントになった。逆に言えば、聖杯がない場所に私は呼ばれないのです。あ、いや、but then does that mean a holy grail can fix itself after it's destroyed? いいえ、聖杯はそう簡単に替えが効くものではない。一度壊れた聖杯が治ることなどないでしょう。But then... ですがあるはずです。サーバントは聖杯の磁力に惹かれて現れる。聖杯がなければ、サーバントは現れない。それは、あの神父も語っていたのではありませんか ?The priest. Oh yeah, that guy. The guy living in the church, the overseer of the Holy Grail War. The man who's managing the Holy Grail should be able、uh, to answer all my questions. The end of the previous war, the whereabouts、uh, of the destroyed Holy Grail, and how that archer is still around. And yeah, what, Kuritsugu, what did Kuritsugu see at the end of the battle that made him、um, want to destroy the Holy Grail? Um, I'm actually going to end, end the,、uh, there for tonight. We have gone a bit over time. All right then. So things just got crazy, huh? We were attacked by Caster, and then suddenly, uh, uh, and, and,、um, suddenly uh, we got、uh, a new servant and came about. What is going on here? And, and, and we can't nail all,、uh, the servant and some,、uh, the servant and some true identity. But I'll tell you this. We have already seen him on this channel in a previous、uh, series I did. Shouldn't be too hard to figure out what it was. And I have accidentally blurted out、uh, his name、um, before. We didn't learn his true name、um, then. But that's not going to be,、uh, but maybe that won't be the case this time, huh? Okay, so let us set up a raid. We are going to raid Robin, who is playing Little Nightmares 2. Okay, so thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. If you like my stuff and you haven't already, please leave a follow. It helps me as a small VTuber, and you can also check my socials down there. Uh, uh, though I have, moved,、uh, I have moved over to Blue Sky, so rather go there than to my Twitter. Uh, um, uh, uh, so, tomorrow. 
we will be continuing in, uh, in Hollow Knight and going towards the next ending. So I hope to see you then. So thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. This is Metis Belaska signing 